Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to uh, Election Day. I'm excited. Will, are you excited? I'm more excited than I have ever been in my life. That's great. Uh, Chris, are you excited? Oh, I am filled with existential dread to the max. That sounds about right. Uh, okay, so uh, we decided with that... We have a Tuesday stream. We should probably make it election themed. At the same time, you know, it would be nice to talk election coverage in, in a sort of like uh, pseudo objective, pseudo informed way like we did with Super Tuesday earlier this year. Um, I'm getting a bit of bleed through, by the way. Um, so we're going to play Civ 6 and we're going to play it with six world leaders. Will and I are going to take over two of them. These are modern world leaders. We're going to be playing on a continental US map and we're just going to keep playing. We're going to have election results rolling. Uh, a little bit on the screen for the electoral count, but I'm also going to throw some uh, more detailed stuff on my side so that we can see uh, what's going on and just kind of comment on it. So as I get this set up, how you guys how you guys doing? How's your day been so far? Uh, you know, it's been pretty good. Uh, did some work. We had a kind of wild work day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Our host for the show. So we do a show. Our host for our live show got a flat tire. So they mm -hmm. couldn't make it, so we ended up doing it just with the analyst, which actually turned out way better than I thought, yeah. which is concerning on the other side, because I don't want our boss to be like, that was so good, let's not have a host anymore. So, uh -oh. <laughs> you know what, guys? What if we just didn't do the show anymore? <laughs> so, <laughs> other than that, I, I, um, I brought some of my favorite beer here. Very good. I got a Coke to possibly mix with this very expensive whiskey. What's the uh, beer? Uh, whiskey. It's scotch, actually. Yeah. You're right, you're right. What'd you say? What's the beer? Uh, it's called Mad Elf. It's by Trogues. I'll hold it up to the camera here. Your camera. It's very good. Uh, it's oh. got cherry and... What kind uh, is it? Will had mentioned it to me last year at the... Was it your Halloween party? Yes. And I had been like, oh, that sounds good. And then I... It, you can only, what do you get? You get it at Costco? You, no, it, it's pretty much anywhere. I get it at Total Wine, but Total Wine. it's only available like starting November. Uh, actually, I got it in, uh, in October. And then when they sell out, they sell out. They don't make yeah, it. Yeah, I, I had never seen it anywhere. I went to my beer place and it didn't, and we had it today. It's very good. It's four percent, so it's going to Choo -choo. ruin us. Eleven oh, percent, and now we're happy. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, for people who are uninitiated, this is my new studio space as well, um, which has taken a lot of setting up. Well, I built it with our own two hands. Yes, um, we put a floor in, built a couch, built a chair. We found this dead body named Kevin. Mm -hmm. um, our beautiful son and I, oh let me tweet honor that we're alive so people know to tune in yeah this tip this stuff i got a hot new soundboard that is oh, it's just so attractive actually uh we got a hot new soundboard that makes us sound like elves i'll turn it off um it's pretty great uh i'm excited i haven't played i, I played so much civilization 5 and i could not get and despite John Sean Bean's delicious voiceovers, um, yeah. So this is like my first. Every time I started, a game, I've immediately fallen off of it. So I, I just haven't. This. I love Civ Five so much. I just haven't been able to get into Civ Six in the same way. And same now here. George is really George, interrupting. George Martez is walking in. I'm not interrupting. What What would you like, sir? Keep doing your thing. Uh, oh, you got me a lighter. Thank you for my illegal drug use. Thank you, George. You see my beef jerky here. While you no one, no one can hear you. Yeah, don't just don't speak. You can eat your beef jerky, but Wait, don't. I can't speak. I, I could. Don't no. make... oh, we kind of we kind of hear him. I think it's good. Oh, Ian says it's good. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just speak. Yeah, just speak, speak. Speak towards him. Speak towards me, too. My mic's getting you. All right. I'm just gonna leave. Yeah, towards me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, speak towards Ian. <laughs> He's in, which way is Baltimore? <laughs> um, all right, well, I am going to invite you to this game. You should get an invite. Oh, baby, did I get an invite. I'll monitor chat on the phone. Thanks, babe. I got to install uh... Streamlabs. Oh, yeah, you guys don't use slobs. So no, we use this? Restream. Be Donald Trump? <laughs> yeah, we or use Donald uh, We use OBS Studio oh, instead of slobs. Nice. You will. Don't do that. Come on, work. Okay, all right. Let me uh, flip over to the game. You're in here, Will. So um, yes. we've got six world leaders in here. It's basically Vladimir Putin, Justin Trudeau, Donald Trump, Angela Merkel, Kim Jong-un, and Emmanuel Macron. 
So we're going to let the AI be Donald Trump, but will uh, whoever you want to be just uh, call it out? Uh, I, I, I kind of want to be Kim Jong-un. Yeah. yeah. You guys friends? Um, so do I... <laughs> that was good. Um, so I have to... It won't let me pick him because he's already... Yeah, uh, I'll... I guess you can down there. I yeah, see. I'll move You don't want to be Xi Jinping? No. The eternal not, president? I'm not into winning the poo as much as everyone else is. <laughs> Boris Johnson. Oh. It's Theresa May because it's 2018. Oh, you're baby. right. You're right. It is Theresa May. Yeah. Okay. And the, I'll be the late Putin. Theresa May. <laughs> That's not a good joke. Justin Trudeau. Okay. Uh, one second. I'm just taking care of some stuff on my side. Taking care of biscuits. Any uh, election results uh, rolling yet? Uh, well, uh, we don't get until yes. seven, right? It's zero zero currently. I think um, I think earliest but, is going to be eight p.m. Eastern, but that's yeah, 8 8 that's when the polls okay. close. I don't know if they're actually going to start calling any. Okay. Yeah. Vic, so Vic Long Island, she said they were closing that individual polling station at six thirty. Not even yet. But then they they have they're directing them all to like the major polling stations, you know, which is good for COVID. <laughs> Let's pack these as much as possible. Um, okay, so before we start, let me just go over the game setup just so you guys know. It's simultaneous turns, and it's a dynamic turn timer, so I think at the beginning it's 45 second turns. We're going to take our turn gotcha. at the same time. We're starting in the Ancient. We're doing online game speed, which is double, 12 city-states, and the there are real victory conditions, but there's no turn limit or end limit, except for victory. So... I think the stage is we're going to go until the Civ game is over, or it's midnight, or the election is called. And we're just going to okay. do it. Yeah, we can Three pause. Well, yeah, we, we can pause the game if we need to, but it's basically going to be time to turn. Are you ready? Or will to order, basically. <laughs> yes, I am ready. I, I think I'm right there with you guys where I played a whole bunch of Civ Five, but I just, I think I've played maybe 10 hours total of Civ Six. I just couldn't get into it as much. I, yeah, I think I played close to like 30, but mm -hmm. like, I mean, like that's versus like 300 plus in Civ Five. Yeah, I think I think what really stopped me doing it was the last game I had. This was maybe six months after launch. I was trying to do a religious victory, and I mm. I converted my neighbor, and they basically won the game for me because they started spreading my religion everywhere, and it 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 was just this ridiculous thing where I didn't have to play the game and I won anyways um, because of religion, and it was right, yeah. it didn't really feel right. What's your what's your go to way to win a Civ game? Mm. Uh, I'm not very good at Civ, so I usually just like I, I'm usually like halfway through the game, I look at what I'm angling towards. If it's tech, okay, yeah, yeah. If it's points, if it's military, then I'll do it. Is this? And I think I did a bad thing, and civilization crashed. Well, okay. all right. Well, it's a, a it's not done yet. A Civ fire game crashed ever. Uh, yeah. It's only because our. You was being used 100%, so I was trying to exit things. <laughs> because I think me sending two camera feeds is loving it. I'll come back it shouldn't be that bad. Bye, George. Bye, George. You can call me, by the way. Yeah, if you want to call. No, no, I just, I just wanted to know. I'll make it tomorrow. Um, make some tomorrow. I, I, I was seeing if you got, like, the, the thing. Oh, I didn't get that. Bro. It's expensive. Ugh. Killing me. Okay, I'm just restarting over here. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, Chrome is like eating my CPU. It, you know, usually uh, OBS it. Ninja doesn't give me that that much trouble. Yeah, I'll mess with it a little bit. 2K Game Launcher, fancy. Yeah, it shouldn't be OBS Ninja. Yeah, 2K Game is. Launcher, we're playing a 2K21. <laughs> I hate that every company now feels like they are entitled enough to create their own game launcher. It's very annoying. Yeah, it's bad. I thought we all learned from you play that it was a terrible idea. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And Origin, I mean, Origin still sucks. But, like, Origin, when it launched, was the absolute worst thing ever. Yep. And I, I hate how now they sell their games on Steam, but they still require you to, like... Log in on their side, so it's like you launch the game from Steam and you got to log into you play and then you and then you play the game. Ugh. 
Yeah, that because I have for for honor. Remember that game yeah. um, through uh, through Steam, and I like it's. It, I boot Steam. It goes to you play. It does a thing, and then it like actually launches. Yeah, ridiculous. I believe Apex Legends currently does that still, where it's like you boot it and it, it'll it'll boot Origin. Oh yeah, I've always played from Origin, so but I, I could totally I see it doing Origin, that. Yeah, but like a friend of mine plays from from Steam. I think I think that's the case. That's very so frustrating. Annoying. That's very annoying because the Origin interface is just they, they did something. They always make it so difficult to tell which games you actually have installed in Origin. Yeah. It's it's really weird how they have it set up. And also Origin. Like, the ability to add someone as a friend in Origin is infuriating. Yep. Not that Steve is very good, but it's at least a little bit better. Uh, can you invite me to the game again? E e are you in the game? Yeah. Okay, now I see. Oh, That's you know what? It's because I have frame. to open. There we go. Okay. Did you get it? Yeah, but when I click on it, it just says launch game. What does that mean? Okay, just try it one more time and <clears throat> try to grab the actual launch thing. Um, hi, Baron. Uh, I'm excited for this map because this is supposed to be a very good continental United States map. Any luck? No, it's just it's just says launch game when I click it. Uh, maybe kill Civ all the way and hit that launch link. Yeah. Try that. Baron, how is it in a country that isn't having a terrible election tonight? Just let me know when you're back in. Yeah. Friends in chat. You can't join him, or is it private? Okay, launching the game. Play. I'm out of here. I don't know. I, it connected me perfectly fine the first time. But when the first time, didn't it, didn't it have that box in the Steam chat where it has like the play, like going join game thing? I don't know. Oh Christ, Baron! Woof. Woo woo woo. All right, I'm also not doing teams. So we'll see who who groups up. We'll see if we can be friends or enemies. This should be fun. Oh, you were asking earlier, Chris, about the difficulty. So it is Prince is basically in the middle, from least to worst. It's is Settler, it Chieftain, Warlord, Prince, Chief. King, Emperor, Immortal, Deity. Hmm. How's it going, Will? I don't know. I don't understand why it's not letting you in. Let me uh, let me recreate the match. Yeah, maybe that's for the best. Oh, see now it's as soon as you whatever you just it, did. It must have been one of those weird instance things that Steam likes to do. Because it, it was saying you were offline until you just left the match. Steam does that, yes, like yeah, see, especially with like. But no, because Steve isn't uh, Steve isn't port forwarding anymore because he used to be. I don't know. Yeah, like I know with port forwarding games, especially, it has a big problem with that. Yeah, see, hey. yeah, it gives you the, the box thing. Yeah. Now we're good. Okay, so you're Kim Young un right. and then we're going to have Justin Trudeau, Angela Merkel, Donald Trump, and Emmanuel Macron. Macron. Okay, I think oh, we're ready. Putin, Putin. Yeah, I, I couldn't decide between Putin or Trudeau. Actually, you know what? Let me look at their stats real quick. <laughs> Let me look at the stats. Vladimir Putin's a very good sentence. Yeah, 
Well, let me put it this way. Let's Between see, Trudeau and Putin. Wow, that's incredible. Between Trudeau and Putin, only one of them is racist. So I'll choose the non-racist one. <laughs> that we know of. That we know of. One of them is publicly racist, so... Yeah, there you go. Wow, it says here, Putin can deadlift an entire bear? Wow. <laughs> He's the handsomest man alive? Look at that! Are you kidding me? Look at that picture of Kim Jong-un! I don't know if the stream can see it, but it's fantastic. Oh, they see Ian's stream. Yeah, they it's see so my Putin. The picture of Vladimir is also very good. All it's... hail the supreme leader Kim Jong-un, descendant of the eternal leaders of Zhushi Korea, champion of the people, protector of the revolution, rightful ruler of the indivisible Korea. Heck yeah. This is so big. I really wish there was a giant uh, Kim Jong Il and Kim Il sung behind him giving him the thumbs up as like force <laughs> ghosts. Uh, you have come far. Oh, here oh, I am. Here we go. Okay, time to settle time to New play. Koreasburg. <laughs> New Koreasburg. How do, I, how do I place it? It's loading, darling. Oh. So it says, please wait in the corner. Oh, thank goodness, because I'm still loading in. <laughs> <laughs> I have an SSD. Yeah, we're on that glorious M2 drive. Thank you. I think it's because I have the game running off of my game. I have the map I and the other uh, civs. Yeah. Okay, all right, I'm in. Okay, my unit needs orders. Chris, what do I do? Found city. No! Not there! Why not? Move down one. Move down one? Yeah. What's wrong with that one? Trust me. Trust in the Lord. Research. Why do the... Oh, the arrow... Why can't I arrow around? I don't know. I think tab bounces you to your next unit, if I recall. I want to avoid looking at Ian's partition of the screen. Yeah, tell me where... Psst, Chris. Tell me where he is. Well, he's in the middle. He's in the middle of the map. Oh, now arrow keys are working. Ah, got all so I, I, You said found it here? Yeah, yeah I think so. The game is waiting on me. Look, hey, game. I'm waiting on a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. Waiting on the world to waiting change. On, <laughs> waiting on an election. Wait, what did it? What is it? I can't read that. What is the name of the city it gave you? Uh, Ensenadabaj. Why is it at Pyongyang? Priyasho. Isn't. Are you Are you done? Are you done? Yeah. Did you click next turn? Yeah, it says. Oh, I have to choose production. Sorry. I thought I was done because there was a countdown. No, that's like. Uh, that's like how yeah, long no. until it four cents? Yeah, uh, I have to choose. A, oh, animal husbandry. Next turn. You fool, you've ruined your whole strategy. He now knows. You went husbandry first. I love having husbands. I don't know if I like the whole, like, cartographer style of the map looks in this game. I don't know, I kind of like it better than the previous, like, just generic fog. I'm yeah, not crazy yeah, about sure. it, but... Because the Civ Fog is just boring blue fog. Uh, Ian, what's the website that you're getting that election thing from? Uh, I'm just doing Politico, and I only chose that because it was easy to crop it down to a little thing on stream. Gotcha. I think once we start getting results, I'm going to throw that up so I can see it. Yeah. When I uh, when I was in journalism school, I wanted to work for Politico for a time. That went about as well as you expect. <laughs> <laughs> and then I went to film school. Ah, the decisions we make. I'm trying to okay. I'm trying to figure out. Oh, I know where I am. Okay, so what is it? What is your comma after your city? So, for example, mine is. S D A K, which means I'm in South Dakota. I know exactly where I am. I'm in Baja, California, B A J. Oh, nice. Nice. 
Oh, that's weird. So it's randomly assigned real locations? Oh, choose production. Yeah. Yeah, I, from... I assumed it would be, you know, places in, at least the capitals would be, like, you know, capitals of the countries, and it would be places in those countries, but I guess not. No, no, we're, we're on the continental U.S. map, so it's... Oh! Yeah, the map data came with basically a file that says, if you spawn around here, oh, if you settle around awesome. here, use this, yeah. So that line, Will, that must be the border between Baja and regular California. What line? This one? No, no, no. Up a little bit. See where it's like it goes oh, from. Oh, yeah. No. How do I make them do things? They need to have a complete. Do you have like farms unlocked? They might not have anything to do oh, yet. Oh, you might be right. I met Minneapolis. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. The great, the proud city state of Minneapolis. Granted a recon. Ooh, policy. A scoop. All cities. Policies. Yeah, I think that's it. That, that's probably the desert here, right? Which means it's like Mojave. So you can find the proud people of Las Vegas, Will. <gasps> Hello, driver there. No, no, up, 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 up. Yeah, it's time. Yeah. Let's explore the rest of our little penis. That's true. Sure. Oh, yeah, if it, if you're right about it being Baja, you can just that the the whole thing is yours now. <laughs> Whoa, the North Korea region. Of... <laughs> I don't know how far this goes little down. Korea, hope... little, little Pyongyang, Baja, California. <laughs> my favorite. What? Why do I have so many? Oh, I forgot about my special power. Wait, so what? every one u melee unit I make, it makes two. Oh, what? what? <laughs> yeah. That's I mean, like, that's crazy. Oops, language. Oh, but melee, good. melee units. Oh, okay. Well, well, like units that don't. Yeah, non range. Yeah. Did you guys uh, try and get the kind of funny like community stream thing for Extra Life? Uh, what's the kind of funny community stream? They'll host you for X amount of time. Oh, uh, no, because we're part of Giant Bomb Team. Ah, oh, of course. Because it's just easier, because then we, we say that and they retweet us or whatever. Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you, I hate Greg Miller, so... <laughs> <laughs> you know what? My, my stance is, I don't like Greg Miller, but I like Greg Miller. I don't like the character, I like the person. I like I like him outside of kind of funny content. Yeah. I don't find kind of funny that entertaining. I, just, I shouldn't say this because we just got told we're going to be spawned, we're going to have like two hours of their stream time, oh. but whatever. <laughs> yeah, I just uh, I just find it real sketchy, a lot of the like the stuff he does with developers and publishers, basically like promoting and involved in their shit for free. Yeah. And then, and then yeah. he uh, does games coverage, and I'm like, that's sketch. Come on, yeah. man. I agree with that. Well, like, I've met him in person. I have too, like, yeah. He's a nice, like, a nice person, but like his Twitter feed... I follow him, and I'm like, uh, I, don't, I don't follow him. <laughs> like, stop. But, like, when I've seen him on, like, stuff that isn't run by him, he's great. Mm -hmm. Like, when he's on Giant Bomb stuff, he's been good. What was the EA thing he hosted where he was, like, trying so hard to save it, it was just going off the rails? Oh, yeah. My favorite thing still is the Game Awards hosted by Joel McHale. <laughs> and oh, he was just like... God. Oh, God. Oh. He was... So I hate good. that you reminded me about that. <laughs> I, I actually really like that because, like, the writing and the whole presentation was just awful, and he just knew it. And so he was just like, this is stupid. I'm, sa I'm saying it's stupid while I'm doing it. So it, like, came out in, like, kind of a good way, <laughs> you know? Instead That's of him true, trying to... Yeah. He wasn't, like, trying to he genuinely it. sell it. <laughs> yeah. It was so good. He was, just, like, so against it, and I loved it. Now we hit the Keeley's here. And then the best part was when... um. 
uh, Reggie came on, and for like 20 seconds, they just talked about like Seattle Seahawks football. And it was like, it was like, oh, it's two normal people for 20 seconds. Oh, no, wait, now we got to get back to the bad script. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I was enjoying myself. Now I have to go back to this nightmare. Oh, no, yeah. The Christmas trees. I just found Fresno. Oh. So is that a city state or is that another, uh, I think it's a city state. Okay. Right? Yes, it is. This is pretty well done. Yeah, it's got it's got good reviews. I think I found the Rockies. Whoa! I can't wait for there's like fifty things to do on my turn. Oh, this many soldiers! I know, I'm just popping them out like for the babies. glory of uh, the immortal leader. Eternal leader? What is Kimiel's son? Um, but but leader. Glorious? God. I'm glorious not sure. But leader. No, glorious is the whoever is currently in command. I, Eternal president or something? I have a phone. Hmm. Hello, Fresno. You'd like to go on a date? Oh boy, I'm ready for this. You know, it's this election's been weird. I feel like over the course of the last couple months, I have just completely lost interest in it. Hi, little Pringle. Absolutely, yeah. Just waiting for it to be over. Little Pringle's asking Andrew Yang 24. You know, my dad and I were talking about this yesterday. Who's running in 24? Let's just say both sides because we don't know who's going to win tonight. So who who would run in 24? Hillary. 24. So, I mean, as far as the Democrats go, I think it's going to be a lot of repeats. We're going to see Buttigieg is going to run again. Warren's going to yeah. run again. Maybe Andrew Yang. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Um, we're not, I don't think we're going to see Bloomberg. I don't think we're going to see Beto. Oh, Bloomberg will be dead. Oh, I don't think Bloomberg's going to run again. Beto, yeah, I agree with you. He's not going to run again. Um, but, like, as far as the Republican side, I genuinely have no idea. I Who's think the guy with the eye patch? Oh, um, anyway. yeah. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. From uh, Crenshaw? A, Crenshaw, yeah. Dan Crenshaw. Yeah. I, I think it's a little too early for him to run, but I could definitely see Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz has enough of an ego that he is definitely going to run for Cruz president would again. Run. Yeah, he wouldn't, I, don't, I don't think he'd get the nom, but he'd run. Yeah. Um, I don't think Paul Ryan's coming back. I think he's happy in retirement. Uh, Kim Yo-sung's title is the Eternal Supreme Commander, by the way. Wow. You, even... Beyond his death. Am I, allowed to, am I allowed to say that he's dead or is, is Pyongyang well, going to come attack me? Let's not stretch it. Chris, what, are you, what are you trying to do here? Oh, um, I would actually, I would, I would probably put the first one north and the rest of them south. So like up here? Yeah. Until you finish and then finish the peninsula south. Yeah. <clears throat> but just give yourself a buffer between your capital and the rest of the world. Man, how how freaking long is Baja California? Apparently, it's pretty long. Uh oh. Six twenty nine already. Yes, I know the game's waiting on me. Ian's good at the game. Ian, are you are you of the mind that um, Biden won't run for a second term? No. Well. Look, if he's running for this term, that boy ain't got no sense of self-sense in terms of what he is capable of at his age. So, <laughs> ah, you know, um, I, I could definitely see him running. Well, I actually, you know, that's a good point, though. If he if he wins this term and he's not feeling great for a second term, he just, you know, does an unofficial handoff to Kamala and says, hey, this is I'm not running again. This is who I'm supporting. I could see that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not not a fan of that, but I can see it. 
That makes the most sense, but I, I, I don't see most people, even after her, even if she's just like a, a decent VP, I don't see most people, people giving her the thumbs up for the actual presidential nomination. I feel like this will be a pretty, pretty heavy fight for it. I, I don't know, because the thing about the thing about Biden, uh, I'm I'm of the strong opinion that Biden won only because the DNC got involved that week before Super Tuesday, and and that oh. Biden and Obama, I'm sorry, DNC and Obama basically flipped everybody who needed to be flipped to support Biden, and I could see the DNC lining up behind Kamala at the same time. So, you think it would have been Sanders otherwise? Yeah, I think it would have been Sanders because because the only thing Biden had was he had that momentum coming off uh, what was it South Carolina, so and then what was My it? Neck of the world. Yeah, it was like Buttigieg dropped, Klobuchar dropped and endorsed, Buttigieg endorsed, Beto dropped and endorsed, or did Beto drop earlier? I can't remember. But like everything swung right before Super Tuesday, and then yeah. you know uh, Warren Warren did she drop before Super Tuesday? She I dropped, can't... but she didn't hold. She, did, she, didn't, she didn't endorse. endorse. Yeah. Oh no, yeah. no, no. She stayed for Super Tuesday because she took some votes from Bernie on Super Tuesday. Oh, you're right. You're yeah. Right, yeah. So it is one of those things where it was just like, the DNC has the power and the lack of morality to stand behind whoever they pick for whatever reason. So you're correct. if they get behind Kamala, they could totally do that. What do you think? Put one here. Yeah, all the way down. Yeah, totally. I mean, if you're going for the tons of city strategy, you should maximize the space as much as possible. No, I'm not crazy about making just cities out the butt. I like it, but it has to, it has to be the kind of map for it to work. I mean, my CPU loves being at 100% right now. <coughs> what CPU you got in? You got in there. Uh, what do we get? An i7? We have an i7? I think so. I don't remember. Like, is it a new one or is it an older one? <clears throat> Yeah, it's a new one. I bought it new. I mean, it's oh. it, you should be it's fine. Thirty percent. It's thirty percent Google Chrome and twenty five, twenty two percent Sid Meier's. What's and going on? Another twenty percent with... on Google Chrome. What's so Google I don't doing? Know if it's, it's just OBS Ninja. Is it just me sending the OBS? Ninja? But it it but can't be because because I checked and my my Google Chrome is like two percent CPU, including OBS yeah, Ninja. I, I mean, if you want to, we could. We could pause the game, kill OBS Ninja, and just kill Chrome and restart it. Yeah, that's true. Is it because we're sending two different feeds via OBS Ninja? I don't think so. Could be. <clears throat> I mean, you could kill one of the feeds and open it in a different browser. I mean, I'm going to head out in anyway. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we'll uh, stream's fine over here. So. Yeah, you just hitch every so often. Let's hold it up for now, yeah. Yeah, but speaking of South Carolina, does Jamie Harrison actually win? Oh, I don't know. I, I, I mean, it's closer than I thought it would be, but yeah, I, I have no idea what's going to happen today, to be honest with I you. I am from there, and like a lot of people I know, were, like a lot of people I know who are certifiable like Trump heads, were like, "I'm voting for Jamie Harrison because I hate Lindsey Graham." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't even know what the odds are of the Senate flipping. I haven't been paying attention to that. We, I mean, we actually so like, we actually talked about that today because we, we pulled the odds for the show you work on, um, and the odds do favor like a, a flip, and they also favor Biden. But like we also will pulled the odds from last election, and it was like it was like set, it was like eighty percent likely that Hillary would win, and then you know here yeah. we are. Yeah. So. I don't know. I think the the one that that kind of elucidated me a little bit was oh, thanks for the follow i don't know where that is thanks Thank for the follow you. sorry i didn't have that up let me put that over here there we go um was 538 said i think they said it's basically a 50 50 between a biden landslide and a nail biter and that feels about right yeah that feels fair to me i feel like once once like Pennsylvania and like the other the quote unquote like swing states start coming in, well, it'll be very obvious if we're going towards the oh god, oh man, what's gonna happen, or the okay, this is absolutely over. Put him in the dirt. Yeah. Uh, Ian, you want to pause for a second? Yes. Just, uh, yeah, if you just hit P, you, you can pause. Oh, gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna kill both these OBSs and restart Pro. Okay. Um. I will fix the links once that's up. 
Danke. Huh. Uh, you know what, folks? We're going to do a uh, commercial break real quick because we're just going to kind of be hanging out for a minute. So uh, let's do that. All right, everybody, we're gonna, we're just refreshing some of the links over here um, to get the cams going back up. Uh, Lord Pringle says he's gonna pair the Ryzen 5 5600X and the AMD RX 6800. Those new AMD cards, they look, they look pretty good. They look pretty competitive. I'm excited about that. See, I've never had an AMD card. I've always just had, I think I've always just had NVIDIA. I think the last time I had an AMD card was, oh dear lord, I want to say like 2008, because they, they used to be pretty competitive, and you could, and I was always budget minded yeah. back then, so you would go AMD for budget. I think we're good. Okay. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. Cool. All right. Um, the Ryzen processors are supposed to be amazing, so I think. If my processor is pretty good, but I think in like two years when I upgrade it, I may go Ryzen just because I do a lot of video editing and stuff, and I I need that CPU power, you know. Yeah, that's true. All right, you ready? I am ready, sir. <clears throat> okay, unpause it. I mean, I use an i9, and I'm like even though like editing multicam, it still just like begs for death. Yeah. So what I did recently was um, all my media was on a two terabyte, like 7,200 RPM drive. And I finally bought another one terabyte SSD to put all my media on. And it, it seems nice. like, it seems like the, the, like the, the editing is maybe 40% faster in loading the media um, and, and like having it on the timeline and scrubbing through it. But it's definitely still a little, a little slow. Yeah, it does look like a big penis. No, 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 up cursor. To the right a little bit. That. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that really does. That's a hog right there. That's a hog and a half. Hog and a half. Move! Do my bidding. For the glory of North Korea. I'm just sending these guys out, you know? I'm gonna find lands to conquer. I need more. So if it's all continental U.S., we should run into people pretty fast. Well, I think it's pretty big. Like, I went about 10 tiles west, and it's South Dakota to Wyoming. So it should be a pretty big map. That's true, yeah. There's how many AIs? There's six? I think uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, six total, four AIs. Oh, okay, four, four AI. AI. Okay, yeah, yeah, see a decent amount of space each. Oh. Waiting for Think Gibson. Lil Prim is following us on Twitter. That's terrifying. <laughs> uh, I love you. 
Wait, say it again. Thank you for following. I really appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, you for following. Oh, no, you've been no. all hyped, bitch. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, kids. Oh, hey, kids, want to build communism? <laughs> Kids want to be high pitched. It's me, Jerry Genitals. Hey, is your parents around? It's me, I met, Jerry. I met Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Ian's never been happier in his life. He's finally peaked, ladies and gentlemen. Where? He's I'm, met Donald Trump. Where is he? The Donster. <laughs> what was sleepy? What did we say earlier? Hey, someone finished building Stonehenge. Oh, sleepy, sleepy, uh, sleepy dough, <laughs> sleepy dough. What was it? sleepy dough bump? Sleepy dough bump. That's what it was. <laughs> I was. If some horrific accident combined Joe Biden and Donald Trump, sort of a two-face situation, they became super president. Super <laughs> president two. No, dough brump. That was what it was. <laughs> sleepy dough brump. <laughs> sleepy dough brump. I was very into it. Hi, I'm Doe Brump. I'd like you to vote for me president. <laughs> also, I'd like to bang porn stars. Would you kindly? Oh, what is this? Would you kindly go and have sex with that porn star? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's, he's an Irish guy. not a country. Why don't I do country? That's my favorite Bioshock game. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Well, navigating Civ menus is very, uh, very interesting to watch. I haven't played since Civ Five, so it's kind of just like, ooh, what's all this then? <laughs> what is all these newfangled policies and different what's the things? Policy? What's the policy on me showing off my Menards here? Now we're just talking like my college teachers in here. Yes, we get it, Chris. You went to school in South Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> Yeehaw! We have to let the mic absolutely. We get it. Your mother's your sister. I'm <laughs> <laughs> from South Carolina. We get it. <coughs> You're married to your sister. Who's also your mother? We get it. Stop gloating. <laughs> I am from Virginia, which is just as bad. It's true. The hills of. <coughs> I just wish. Virginia and West Virginia would settle their differences. So You're going to make that joke. The other day, Will looked at me and goes, why is West Virginia a state? <laughs> I was confused. I wonder what the history like, is there. Or is this is like a, this is a bit. <coughs> it's just like, why be stupid when you can be smart? Well, I, I just, right? I wonder, I wonder what the history is. Like, like, I know D.C. was cut in half because Alexandria didn't want to stop slavery yeah <laughs> well there was the whole the whole wall in east and west you know like they wouldn't let people through the wall there's a pillar where uh, like it's like a monument basically in uh falls church where i was born where it's, it's like here's where we decided to, to be part of the south and not part of the north Yeehaw! wait a minute what do you I'm want, george um can you just coordinate with you whoever's last announcement to text me that you locked up yeah what's up ian were you talking about Berlin? Yeah, I was making a, a jokey. It was pretty good, wasn't it? Yeah, sure. Fun fact about Will, crawled through the Berlin Wall. It's true. Also known as my mother's womb. <laughs> <laughs> I know you didn't, but that's not true. That's true, I'm a C-section. One of the things I know about Will. <laughs> the C stands for concrete. <laughs> <laughs> I was extracted. My extraction day. Oh no, Donald Trump is not happy with me, and I don't know why. Can we? I, I I'm gonna be friends with him. Set the porn stars. I don't. This I don't, is what. Uh, the the way it like vignettes the top and bottom of the screen in kind of reminds me. It's like a Persona cutscene. Yeah. I <clears throat> up your social link with Donald Trump. Come on. One of the most terrifying things about this game is when you meet somebody, but like you came across their unit, so you don't know actually where they are. <laughs> You're just yeah. like, oh, they're no. vaguely in this direction. Are they? Are they next to me? Jesus, that came through. Oh, did it really? <laughs> Your knuckle I'm, crack. I'm sorry to the stream. Knuckle cracker? Is that a? No. 
That's like that sounds like a bad term. It's like the other thing we can't say on stream. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Will and I occasionally make up like fake, fake mean words for people. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's a better way of saying it. Someday we'll use. Oh, I got butthole on that. Oh, I've been thoroughly buttholed. I have to urinate. How are things going over there? You know, okay? <clears throat> the great people of Korea. The whole like making two units thing is really not working well for Will because he has so many units. <laughs> <laughs> What's your goal at right now? You have to be negative, right? Yeah, I was about to say. Well, you got upkeep. I'm doing really good. Wait, do they, do they not charge you for the second unit? I don't oh. know. That's insane. What? I've got so I many. Think, I think North Korea is broken. Yeah, this is just a mod pack, so it could That's be That's true, ready. yeah. Like patch 1.25. Hey, we finally nerfed North Korea. My expense is minus one. That's so, yeah, you are losing money. Terrible. You know, you could just stay in that. The amount of while. units you have is pretty good, actually. Yeah, I have like 1,500 units. You have so many soldiers. Ugh, oh, just stop. Kill some of them. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill them. No, there's a butt. Oh, I found uh, Mexico. That was a huge wall here. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump Who must be down it? there. <laughs> Around everybody. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pause the game. I'm gonna save it real quick. What is this? Turn oh, thirty. Smart. Wait. So I thought it was continental U.S. Oh uh, no, it's just North America, I think. Well, oh, I actually, I'm not. I'm not sure. I don't think it goes to Canada. I'm not sure how far down south it goes. But Mexico is part of America. Yeehaw! Yeah, I just found Mazatlan Sin. Hey, man, I took French in high school. What do you want from me? And you know I ain't no sinner. Will Crosby, man of the cloth. You went, you went to, like, Bible camp and stuff, right? Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> Get him in. Choose uh, production. Listen, I got, like, 50 cities here now. And a huge army. Please don't invade me. Yeah, and I have a whopping <laughs> But So what are you doing? You just going around taking out barbarians? Yeah, pretty much. Ex doing a little bit of exploring. No, stay away from him. He's my I beautiful child. He has one soldier just wandering through the desert. <laughs> 40 days and 40 nights makes a man <laughs> healthy, wealthy, and white. Oh no! Oh, oh boy! It makes him actually because he's tanning. It makes him brutally sunburned. Yeah, he actually died. I had sun poisoning once. It was awful. Ugh, that does sound awful. I'm digging these harps that are just constantly playing. I have no harps. I only have occasional E in dialogue. Oh, you know what? I did. I did turn off the music because um, I usually listen to podcasts while playing this game. Smart. I turned it back on. Why? Why is? Why is the advisor's like, hey, you need to learn how to sail. Meanwhile, I'm stuck in the Midwest. Jesus. Oh, on the bottom of the map. Ian, you gotta you gotta ride the waves. You gotta surf the sand sea. Oh, come on. Oh no, Chris. What do I choose? I can't read any of those, buddy. I'm a solid six feet social distance away from you. That's true. You have a TV. It's not much bigger over there, honestly. Uh, two up. That's not bad. I don't have a lot of that. Either. You might though if you go more north, but I try to. I don't actually know. Yeah, I think I might go with this one. Is there one for desert tiles or uh, this one? That's not bad. That's not bad at all, especially because of, with the power you have, that kind of seems to be your only option. <laughs> Uh, what do you think the over-under is on this game crashing at some point? 
and becoming oh, like like uh, unplayable because of the map size. Uh, I would say like minus four four forty probably. <laughs> <laughs> like I would not take that money line. Absolutely not. No chance. Yeah. <sighs> Although, like, once again, I haven't played enough six. Maybe it's less less crash heavy than every other Civ ever made ever. Yeah, maybe. Oh, I gotta be friends with Donald Trump. Declare <laughs> friendship. Man, he is really trying oh, to try to get that. No uh, that first he said no thanks. He, he said, said no thanks. He said no thanks. Fine, I'm just gonna. I'm, I know you like gold, so I'm just gonna send you some gold. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> maybe I'll make some deal. Um. What can I do for you? That Ian Gibson, he's a loser. I He's straight from China. I don't know. I'll, I'll that Trump person sucks. It really does. It's I thought it would have gotten better over these four years. It simply didn't. You ruined it. We gotta take a pee break soon. It's gonna be huge. Huge. What am I building here? Okay, pee break. Do you want to do that now? Well, how 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 long can you wait? I can wait as long as you need me to. I have a bladder of a king. Let's wait. Let's wait like twenty minutes, and then we'll do an ad break. Okay. Yeah, break questionnaire. I need to order food at some point too. What are you gonna do? I think I might do El Zahim. Kind of feeling shawarma. It's a very good uh, Egyptian place near us, in case anyone at home is caring or oh. wants to order Jersey City oh, local wants cuisine. wants to figure out where I live. <laughs> you don't live here, though. Oh, that's true. It feels like I do sometimes. Bye, that's Baron. True. Thanks for watching. Hey, Baron, thanks. Uh, go to bed. It's like 4 a.m. where you live. Yeah, you idiot. Oh, it's 1 a.m. now. Fair enough. Stupid idiot. You, uh, you Austrian fool. God, I hate Austria. They're like... Worst Germany. Oh no, you can't say that. <laughs> Worst you know it's from Austria. No, I don't. Please inform. Know. Please inform the stream, Will. <laughs> from Austria. Who? <laughs> Ma? <laughs> oh no. What did we watch? Oh, the little Hitler. <laughs> little Hitler. The way this gets you no skit. It's very good. <laughs> it's one of my favorite. The freaking uh, the hot sister one is the best skit. The hot sister one's very good. Um, yeah. Why does kids you know? God, some funny skits. You have so many units. Yeah, yeah, get him. Light him up. Okay. I got a lot going on here. He really does. Oh. I need to get these boys. More boys? Okay, I'm gonna head back around this way. Heading through the Mojave over there. Whoa! You t truly, we have become the Death Stranding. God, I love Death Stranding. Game of the year. As our box over there to the point of my finger to Will's head. Yeah. I made that. Keep scraping your mic, by the way. This is my beard? Yeah, let me turn you down first. Yeah. Put it like this. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Okay, All you're right, back right. up. Some... Okay. Somebody Stop wants to. Stop rustling my beard against me. the microphone for all the kids at home. You gotta really hear the uh, gray before shave beard oil at home. Oh, I really want to be friends with Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> this is now Ian's goal for the whole stream. First world problems. That, this, 
really, it has no lose lose. Worst case scenario, mm -hmm. Trump loses the election and then he's like, I can just close this game and move on my life. Best case <laughs> scenario, he is now best friends with Donald J. Trump. Yep. Yep. It's Jehoshaphat, right? There's no it way it's Jehoshaphat. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure it is. Joseph makes sense. I'm going to say it's Donald John Trump. Are you sure it's not Donald Donald Trump? Donald. You know what? Um, did you know that all of George Foreman's sons and daughters are named George Foreman Jr.? I did know that, yeah. <laughs> hey, man, you don't have to be creative. Yeah, just cool. Okay, I don't want to deal with You can punch in the head that much. You're going to lose some... Uh... Yeah, Donald John Trump. I was right. Boom. Oh, we share a middle name. That's awful. That's your fault. Damn you, Donald Trump. Okay, I got a minute. Oh, yeah, he's just, he doesn't. Friendship, no. Okay, all right, so let's just, let's make a deal. I'm going to offer him. <laughs> he loved that. Oh, wow. The, art, the you... art of the deal. He loves that stuff. <laughs> Did you mean to do that? That's pretty good. Let's make it. Some say the Ian Gibson Donald Trump trade deal best ever. Some okay. say that. All right. You know, some give... say love is like a river. Oh, I've discovered New Mexico. But can love be found on the battlefield? Will I'm giving him do one you... gold per turn. Do you think love can be found on the battlefield? As you were making that Austrian joke, Ian's, uh, Baron said, Oh no, I heard that one, so bye! <laughs> hey, Baron, I love you. He's long gone since now. Yeah, good. Also, English is a second language, he can't really understand us. Yeah, he doesn't understand sarcasm. We're just saying funny words. Yeah. I like your funny words, magic man. Boom, slam a jamma. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. We'll be coming the Lord of the West Coast over here. Whew. It's true. We're taking over. N North Koreans over over the West Coast. Like the hit video game franchise, Homeland. I know, I was just looking at that. We should play that at midnight. Uh, the multiplayer in Homeland 1 is genuinely very good. Yeah, that was one of those games where, like, People crapped on it, but every time I looked at gameplay, it looked decent. I played quite a bit of it, because it came around the same time as Crisis mm -hmm. 2 or 3, maybe 3. Um, and I remember, I remember enjoying it, you know, decently. Like, it wasn't the best shooter, but it was, you know, it was pretty solid. Yeah. My leg. What the hell is that? Uh, that's Socorro, New Mexico. Oh, of course, that well-known city in New Mexico. Yeah. Just <laughs> make a kissy face at me. Damn right I did. What the duck? What the duck? Hey, Todd. What did the duck say? Quack, 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 quack. Ooh, is that a good idea? This mob, but it's all famous game devs. Ooh, that's good. Mon Howard. Oh. Sid Mon Meyer. Howard. Mon Howard. <laughs> Sid Meier. That's very good. <laughs> Tom, Tom Clancy, he's not a game dev, but he's in there anyway. Yeah. Oh, uh, there was a hard drive article that was... Remembering Tom Clancy, the greatest game developer ever lived. <laughs> that was pretty good. I thought about that, doing a, a series where reading the book that inspired a famous game series. Like reading Rainbow Six while playing Rainbow Six. Reading Rainbow Six is one of my favorite episodes. <laughs> <laughs> reading Rainbow Six! Reading Rainbow Six! 
Love LeVar Burton. Take a look. It's in a book. Reading Rainbow Six. <laughs> <laughs> Just dubbed it poorly every time. <laughs> oh. Will has to pee, I can tell. All right, you want to take a break? <clears throat> it is 7 o'clock. Yeah, we can pause. I'll pause. Okay, we're paused, folks. Uh, we're going to take another ad break. I will it's be right back. I'm going to head out then because it's 7 o'clock and I'm hungry. Bye, Thanks for joining, Chris. Yeah, thanks for having me. All right, folks, we're going to run a 60-second ad break, and then we will be right back. I promise. Hello, everybody. We're back. Time for some more Civ. Um, let's kick it off. Let's see what's going on here. Waiting on Will. Um, oh, we've got our first election result in. I, I wish I could see what it is. First election result. Uh, Kentucky has been called for Trump with 54.1% of the vote, um, 16% of the vote in. Vermont has been called for Biden, 0% of the vote in currently. So we're looking at pretty much what people expected. Let's see, that's not updating. Let's see why. You know, I'm gonna take this opportunity to dial down my graphics. Oops, I'll be back. Bye. Just wanted to feed it up. Oh, that is, that does feel much smoother. Okay, are you back? I'm back. We've got our first two states called. Kentucky has been called for Trump. Vermont has been called for Biden. Is any of that surprising? I don't believe so. I don't think that has skewed anything yet. Um, I, I'm just checking. You know, it looks like that is... I need to... Uh, if you all give me a second here, I just need to... Um, adjust this... Uh, there we go. The browser source cropping changed. I hate it when that happens. Oh. Okay, and then let me just change it on the camera. Yeah, it's, it's one of the downsides of using browser sources is if you're not careful, you get 
a web page that's gonna be a bit squirrely and start changing things on you. You know, like the web page slightly shifts its element or it loads an ad of a different size. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Uh, <clears throat> sorry, I do have to duck out for a second. I gotta turn this other camera off since I'm not using it. Yeah, 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 take your time. So, looking crazy. Kentucky, Vermont. All right, so let me um, take care of a little behind the scenes here. Uh, where is subpixel? Okay. You know what? I'm still not getting music. I'll do that. Okay. E are you ready? Yes, sir. Okay. All set. Let's do it. P. Oops, wrong thing. P. Here we go. Nice. Gotcha. Donald J. Trump. We need to be friends. Still doesn't want to be friends with me. You know, it's not surprising. <clears throat> okay. Whew. I'm excited just kind of sitting down for a nice long Civ game. Yeah, it's been... I figured uh, this would make me, like, flip over to this game rather than uh, 5. It's been a while since I've been enjoying enjoy the Civ game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's hard to go back to 5 after playing 6, but at the same time, it's hard to get into 6 because it's not quite <coughs> different or innovative enough compared to uh, 5. So it's kind of just like, I don't know what I'm going to play. Yeah. Oh, I gotta get, um, I think I'm gonna have Karen send it to me, but I started a text document for my, uh, like, RimWorld goings-ons, mm -hmm. and boy, latest update, pretty incredible. So, uh, during some downtime, I'll, uh, I'll read that off to the folks at home. Nice. I'm really digging that game. RimWorld? Yeah. It's not, it's, it's... As far as I can tell, it's far less stuff in it than like Dwarf Fortress or something, but there's a lot, like it, I feel like if I had this knowledge beforehand, I would have said, hey, start with RimWorld, then go to Dwarf Fortress. Because mm -hmm. it's like, because you know all the UI and the systems, when that's stripped away, you you know how to like have fun with it without it. Yeah. Um. And I think they do a really good job with that. Can I not? I need a trade route. I feel like there was uh oh, so I've, I've been playing Watchdog Legions. Watch Dogs Legion. And, um, you know, I, I feel like that game definitely still has the flaws. I just kind of came to an understanding 
and it's just a nice distraction game now. Um, mm. I do not recommend it. I would probably recommend it if you could find it for 20 bucks or less. Um, but yeah, it's it's okay. Uh, I think it's, like I said before, my main reason for buying it is having just a distraction while we're leading up to Extra Life or leading up to console launch. That's right, because next Tuesday is yeah. Yakuza. Oh, I'm so excited. That's going to be so good. Yeah, I'm I'm excited for console launch. I still got to... I still don't think my, my console's coming launch day, but... I just got the notice from GameStop where they were like, hey, we're about to charge you and ship you, so change anything you need to. Yeah, my... Um, Target has said nothing. So... Uh, so, folks at home, we, we are planning to do a launch day stream. It's contingent on two things. Number one, getting the console on launch day, which I paid extra for. So, hopefully that does happen. And also, um, getting the console in time. In terms of, we don't know if that stream is going to start noon or if it's going to start 9 p.m. It all depends on when I get the console. But I promise you, if we get the console on launch day, just keep an eye on our Twitter account, Subpixel Team. Follow us there. Follow us on Twitch. As soon as I get the console, I'm basically going to turn around, turn the stream on, and do the full unboxing, full install everything on stream. So it should be a lot of fun. That reminds me, I think I need to take that day off work. Unless I already did. I can't remember. Yeah, destroyed. Uh-oh. Man, I'm having a time with these barbarians. Uh, they just came at me. If that makes sense. It does make sense. Let's see. So the problem is I was not, I was not uh, building up my military because I didn't think I need to and now I've got a bunch of barbarians around me, but I think I'm okay. They're being real jerks. I think they're just at default. I don't think I did anything crazy to them. Oh, no. I, I don't think you did. But... Yeah. Man, these uh these PS5 controller impressions, they are very impressive. Uh, yeah, I, I was blown away by it. Um, so I'm excited to try that out, but it will... You know, like Chris was saying, there's just not enough on launch day to justify it. Whereas with the Series X, you know... It's basically the same console we have, the One X, but much better. So why not? And there's yeah. there's more games for it, like Yakuza. Like a dragon. Mm, so excited for that. I can't wait. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. <clears throat> I'm excited to see it looks what, really good. what uh, Watch Dogs Legion looks like. People were... Uh, I'm curious. So basically people were saying it is 4K 30 with ray tracing on on the series x but the problem is i am getting i'm having problems on that console on the one x where it is um it's dropping below 30 frames per second and it has like noticeable tearing so it's one of those things where i'm like I really hope it's good on the Series X. It really needs 60 FPS. And it sounds like it is it sounds like it is not a well optimized game, considering people have been having issues on the PC as well. So I'm a little concerned. Where am I going? That's where I want to go. Um, yeah, so I'm really hoping Watch Dogs Legion is 4K60 ray tracing off. Because I, I really don't care about ray tracing as much. I just want a solid 60. And 4K60 would be nice. Yeah. Um. Oh, Florida just went to Democrat. And Georgia. They're, I mean, they're not done, but... Oh no, that is that's a lead. That's, uh, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's that's just based on you know 
how much of the vote is in. Yeah, that's just kind of crazy. Thirty-seven percent in. Okay. Donald. Donald, Donald, Donald. Okay. Oh, I gotta order dinner here. Daddy's hungry. Use this precious time to order food. What are you making, Maggie? Cupcakes. Cupcakes? Well, you didn't have to make those for me. Oh no. Did you see that? What? Donald Trump just hit medieval era. <gasps> Donald. Can't stop your talking about your game or the actual election. 
Both. <laughs> I just heard that. I couldn't tell either until you said medieval era. <laughs> oh, that's very funny. I held up a fistful of sand and showed it to I wasted my time on that dumb research that I didn't realize I was doing. You know, I think I had a good start. Now, now I'm not feeling so great. But I'm okay. Okay, I'm officially ordering food, which means at some point I will get a phone call. Yeah, it's fine. We can just pause. <clears throat> yeah, those overlays, I racked my brain for about two hours trying to make clipping mask work. And then I mm -hmm. just bit the bullet and just merged. So I made like an original and then I made uh, I made a Will, Ian, Jake, and Kyle. And then I merged those and cut. Um, because I, I like... I figured that was faster than wasting the time to figure out, like, how to actually make it work. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm like, definitely one of those people who doesn't know how to do it properly and ends up spending way too much time doing it the wrong way. Yeah, so I, I like, got it most of the way. So that's why I, like, saved it in stages. So, like, that's the one part I couldn't figure out. I, I might actually ask Jake... Uh, afterwards, like what, what his thoughts on that were? Yeah, I, I think if we just get the. Uh... Yeah, I'm excited for extra life. Yeah, it should It'll be, be good. fun. I'm still trying to. Chris is going to be here probably till like two, and my segment's till three, so I'm trying to figure out really oh, what we're going to do. A.M. wise. Yeah. I told him I was like, hey. Rather than like a co-op game, maybe <clears throat> is there something like I haven't played that you really love that you would stay awake and watch me play? So we're trying to like figure something out. Oh. But I wrote some stuff down. I did. I bought Hades on Epic, so I'm, I could do that. It's a good game. Um, could do Rim. Yeah, it's just I'm trying to think what I would play at three in the morning. Honestly, I'd play Rim World at three in the morning because that game's good. But... Um, yeah, who knows? Yeah, I have an i7-9700K in here. Yeah, it should be fine. Why it's not... Yeah, I'm at 60% usage with this game and one camera, which actually isn't half bad now that I think about it. So. <clears throat> I started a new batch of hot sauce. Mm -hmm. um, I did the full gallon jar this time and I bought a bunch of little glass bottles so I can uh, package it up and everything oh that's nice that sounds yeah I'm looking forward to it I'm uh, I bought like one of those like s bends that like lets the air out but doesn't let air in yeah so I think I have to fix it though because I think it's being a little biscuit eater but yeah, not bad.
Uh, I don't have any sort of chat open, I just realized. Yeah, I don't think there's much going on in chat. <sighs> Man, I feel like all of this game is flooding back into my brain with every turn. Yeah. Ugh. I'm like thinking of things I should have done 10 turns ago because I remembered <laughs> other stuff. All right, I literally had Barbarian CG my capital, but I think I'm back in a good spot now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got Barbarians just below my capital who are being real stinkers. But I think I might have figured it out. Yeah, still not a whole lot of progress on the election. like only so the Kentucky and Vermont that means all votes are done being counted in those states no it just means they're calling them early they basically they predict that based on exit polls it's not going to go any other way what is exit poll that means they ask on your way out yeah so not super official really gotcha <sighs> yeah, I'm uh, I'm liking this studio setup so far. I think it's yeah. So I, I just to mention it, your good. audio is not not great. It's not terrible, but and it's not just the yeah. Echo. I wonder. Yeah, it's <clears throat> I gotta I gotta work on it. It also could just be the quality of these microphones, but maybe are those the same mics that we use? No, these are a different company. Yeah, it could be a handful of things. I, I think it may be... I don't, know, I don't want to say the mixer, but it's it's something where it's like... Sometimes it sounds okay, but then it starts getting crackly, clipped, etc. Yeah, I wonder if... Yeah, I, I think I just got to spend some time and figure what exactly is coming through you know 
Yeah. See what uh what I can fix. Oh no, why is he why why has he denounced me? Donald Trump denounced you? He denounced me. Ooh. I was literally giving you money every turn. Oh, guess what he just said? He said, I'm going to let everyone know what a loser you are. Where's my phone? <laughs> Did he really just say that? Yeah. That's so good. Can I have my nerd rope? <gasps> you have nerd. a nerd rope? Yeah, it's a Halloween one. They were on sale yesterday. Oh, what the heck? That sounds awesome. Oh, I'm so jealous. That looks so good. Spooky. Spooky nerd rope. Can you send a couple in the mail to me? Mm-hmm. Thank you. It won't let me change the name of the city. I kind of like that, honestly. You're locked into the map data. Man, I was trying to make butt city, but it would not let me do it. West Virginia just got called for Trump. Oof. But I think this is still within projections. Nothing crazy has happened. Yeah. Ooh, I forgot how, like, almost like tangy nerds are. Don't eat it like that. <laughs> Please. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. You can't do anything about my trireme, can you, freaking barbarians? thing in the uh, the nice thing here is the internet is fantastic that does sound nice at least I have that going for me <laughs> look I don't have a nerds to fall off of my floor <laughs> oh dear god I want my food I'm so hungry Turn, please. I hate when they do this when, like, it's like the next turn button and you click it. 
and then the the units that you say should auto move move and then it's like oh no it's really not the end of the turn you got to take care of this guy you know what i mean i hate that yeah stop shooting my trireme i wonder if there's a Turn on quick combat. Okay. Noise. George Noise. Virginia just went to Biden. Oh, it didn't update for me yet. Florida is neck and neck. Dead, this stupid barbarian. Boo do do. Want my food so I can eat it like a little butt. All right, Donald Trump, how can we be friends? Denald. Oh, I hope I said. I'm gonna God, give you. To give him 78 gold and. No, oh, that's too much. Build 
shelter. Whoa! pretty good right now. I think I'm back in the swing of things. I cleared a barbarian camp. I need to find some more. Gosh darn it, stop! Stop it! Texas. How do you, is it, how do you upgrade a unit? Um, when you click on the unit, there's an icon above them that looks like an envelope. Oh, okay. It said I had an upgradable unit, but then it didn't give me anything. found New Orleans. New Orleans? New Orleans.
All right, only 14 minutes till 8 p.m. Eastern. I don't know if states are going to get called at 8 p.m. Eastern, but there's definitely some polls closing around them. More activity? Hopefully. Yeah, Extra Life. You know, I, I played a round of um, Due Process this over yeah. the weekend just to, like, uh, check it out, confirm it's working, see how it feels. And I'm very excited to play it this weekend. It's, it looks it, good. It's pretty neat. They do some, uh, some real good mechanics like... Um, so at the beginning of each uh, three round session, you spawn in with your teammates and there's like a bunch of, um, I wanna call it like a bunch of stuff around you, but it's kind of like, sorry, I'm just checking stuff real quick. No, that's fine. Um, So basically you spawn in, like for example, if you're the police, you spawn in inside of a, like a SWAT van and there's weapons on the wall, but there's a limited number of each weapons and limited ammo. So let's say for example, there's two shotguns and you grab one shotgun in the first round and you die. And then when you come back in the second round, that shotgun is gone. So now there's only one shotgun that the entire team can pick from. Um, but if you survive the round, then you get to keep the shotgun. So it's like, you know, just the video that I just did on, like, punishments for death and respawning, etc. Like, this is a really good example of, like, hey, when you die, that gear is lost for the entire team. For all the following rounds. So you gotta be, you gotta be careful of, of what you're doing with it. Yeah, I like games that <clears throat> really play with, like, what you bring in, you have to take out only if you, like, survive. Yeah. And this one feels really good because, like, like there's two really cool, like, automatic shotguns. And I was like, first round, I'm not going to take it. And then, like, nobody was touching it. And then it came to this round where it was, like, do or die for us. And I was like, this is why we kept them here. I'm going to grab this shotgun. I'm going to do I miss. What in the world? Donald what? J. J Trump just established a city in between two of my other cities. Oh, This man needs to die. <laughs> in the game. I'm sorry, game. I'm sorry. In the game, in the game. That's a good point. <laughs> Oof, close on there. Uh, keep getting all these great people. Oh, I met Justin Trudeau. Nice. Oh, he doesn't want to be friends with me. I don't know why. I haven't met anyone yet. 
You don't see him in the top right? No. I haven't met anyone. I only have you up there. But it says unmet player. try and box this city out. That would be great. Take that, Donald J. Trump. <laughs> yeah, so due process should be a lot of fun. Um, I wasn't using a mic, but yeah. there were some people on my team using a mic, and it's, it's pretty fun to set up your strategy, figuring out what you're going to do, calling out the enemy as you start to engage him. Then I'm excited to finally play Among Us. That should be fun. Yeah. I need to get that. Same. Um, yeah, I'm sad. I'm kind of sad we cut Deep Rock Galactic, but honestly, it's a game I'd rather just play with other people devoid of extra life. Yeah, <laughs> Food's here. BRB. Okay, I paused it. Okay, five minutes. And we're starting now. One second, folks, we're just getting some food. You know what, actually, we're gonna take a, uh, a quick break. We'll be right back. Hey folks, we're back. Um, Will's got his food. I got some water. Let's uh, let's kick it. I'm very excited. My favorite shawarma place closed down due to the pandemic. Mm -hmm. I consider it the greatest loss of the pandemic, just so behind far. all of the American lives. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I um you know we'll have to eat at this this new shawarma place because I I'm very picky about my shawarma after having eaten it for four years during college so yeah I'm my shawarma game is all crispy I love crispy bits yeah that's more like 
Syrian style. Because I feel like as it turns on the spit, it gets all crisp. Oh, you mean the crispy meat? I thought you meant the yeah. um, the flat the the bread getting crispy. No. Okay. Um, how about you mute yourself while, while the entire time you're eating? Let's just play. I'm good. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna I'm paused now. I'm paused. All right, let's see. Got some pumpkin spice almonds from Lidl on sale, Halloween sale. They're not too bad. They're not quite exactly as binge worthy as I was hoping, but you know. Oh, Trudeau likes me. Trump just had South Carolina called for him. I don't think that's surprising. Oh, I met Kim Jong-un. Oh, Kim Jong-un is Will. I guess we just met. Where did we meet? I didn't even see. I don't know. I'm going to pause the game so we can take a, take a while to look at it. Maybe down in, looks like, southern Texas. South of uh, Socorro, New Mexico. Oh yeah, there's me there, but where are you? I have a little warrior, like maybe six, seven tiles south of Socorro. Oh, uh, we must have passed each other. That's what I think. All right, I am paused. Okay, bye.
let's send you out here. Nice. Okay. Ooh, Biden just got... We just hit 8 o'clock, so Biden got Illinois, Maryland, and New Jersey. And New Hampshire? Oh, I'm sorry. Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island, and Delaware. Trump got Oklahoma, Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee. Um, you know what? I'm going to pause the game real quick. Let's go into the election and let's see what's going on here. We do this. And then I'm going to switch this real quick so y'all can see um, what I'm looking at. All right, so here we go. So we've got Biden at 85, Trump at 55. Um, Biden is still slightly most likely to win. Uh, let's see what the live chat says. Oh, no. Uh... Florida may go red because they're talking about how it looks like Biden was uh, not doing enough to win Latino voters. So Florida, Trump now has a 0.3% lead in Florida with 82% in. Texas, 16% in shade towards Biden. Which could be interesting. Um, let's look at the Senate. Oh, it looks like it's dead tied between GOP and Dems in terms of who who they think is going to get it. House is probably still going to be pretty Dem. I don't think that's up for grabs pretty much. Okay, yep, that's slow. Uh, I don't think we're going to get House results. But let's look at the presidential race. Okay, so let's just, let's go through this real quick. Let's say Florida goes Trump, Georgia's leaning red, uh, Texas is leaning blue, Pennsylvania hasn't closed yet, Nevada, Ohio, Ohio's leading blue. Yeah, so if Trump loses Texas, it's pretty tough. Well, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see, folks. Let's let's get back to the game. Let's get back to the game. Okay, I'm gonna unpause it. You ready? Hi, Trump.
What if I give you some gold? If I give you some diamonds? 50, 50. Get you down here. I mean, it needs orders. Auto explore. Wait, what was that? I'm gonna find this barbarian stronghold. Really need any of that sea stuff or the shipbuilding stuff. Let's open this tech tree, see what I want. I want that.
getting stuff done. Let's check out real quick. Florida with 85% reporting is now 1.6% Trump. Check out another big state, Georgia. Up Trump, North Carolina. 1% reporting up Trump. 13% reporting at Georgia up Trump. Trump's going to win Florida. Heavy area. Ian? Yes. I have returned. Huzzah. Huzzah. <clears throat> Where do they get their data from? I think most of this is exit polls. But then there's also the reporting data is from the election, like the state election is slowly gotcha. releasing data. Like county by county, district by district. Interesting. Oh, that was very good. I'm very full. Why? I feel like I'm stalled. Ugh. My, uh, <clears throat> my units are stuck. They can't get out of an area they're in. That's pretty, seems not good. Pretty funny, honestly. Sorry, what'd you say? That seems pretty funny. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. Yeah, this is getting pretty close, the election. Yeah? Donald Trump likes me. He changed to a happy <clears throat> face. I need to talk to him. Hi. We will be great friends, the best. That's all I wanted, buddy. Okay. Can we be friends, Trudeau? Wow, Trudeau is, I wanna be my friend.
thing. Looks like Mississippi just went for Trump. Maybe that was Indiana. <clears throat> was Alabama that already happened? Yes, I believe so. I don't know how. <clears throat> don't know how to get my guys out of this. Well, you could just research so they get, can embark, right? They're stuck in the ocean. How? I don't know. Every time I try to drag them out of it, it has the red circle. <clears throat> I'm confused. Do you have a uh, like a compressor on your mic? Yeah. No, it's just I get a lot of like background noise and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, like there's no floor. I mean, you can turn it down and turn the compressor up. No, no, it's not your volume. It's just that it sounds like a live mic, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I'm saying I can give it more compressor and <clears throat> see if that helps. Yeah, let's try that. Is that any better? Uh, it's going to take a little bit for me to tell. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, I seem to be in a thing that is surrounded by cliffs. So I don't know how I got into it. But I cannot get out. Well, I'll just delete the unit so you're not paying for it. Yeah. Bye. <clears throat> That's funny. Yeah, like I can hear your mouse, like moving. I feel like that shouldn't gotcha. be picked up, you know. I mean, these are cheap, uh, like omnidirectional mics. No, but, but I, I mean, it should. It. it should like. Well, unless you're doing it super loudly, shouldn't that like be filtered out? Only if I was running like a. Oh, what game. about um uh, Discord? Let me, um, I'm gonna pause some. There's, there's, they've added some settings to clean up audio. Okay, yeah, so in Discord, if you go to voice and video, if you scroll down to the bottom, they have noise suppression that you can turn on. And then at the bottom, they also have noise reduction. I have echo cancellation and noise reduction on. Okay, what about noise suppression above that? Oh, beta. Yeah. Yeah, might as well. Still hear my mouse? Yeah. Can you uh, uh, tell me about your dinner? My dinner was, um, you know, El Zahim. It was a mix of beef and uh, chicken shawarma. It had a bunch of stuff in it, and it was really good. And uh, then I had some mozzarella sticks, too, because I'm a fat boy. Um, and those are pretty good as well. Okay, all right, well, let's let it run a little bit. It definitely changed the audio. But yeah. we'll see if I can't hear as much in the background. I also have no mouse pad, so it's just straight mouse on, you know. Yeah. Desk. <clears throat> Makes a lot of noise. I should get a mouse pad. I bought this like giant mouse pad off Amazon for like ten bucks, and it's like what is it, Steel Sensei? That good company. It's like dirt yeah, cheap. Yeah, it's just haven't gotten around to it, you know. Being a mercenary, though. Hey, we just go. Custom religion. No. Oh, that reminds me, I gotta save the game. Man, I gotta find that. There's like a barbarian camp near me. I haven't found it yet. I gotta find it. You gotta find it, let him know. Who's boss? I know. Hmm. 
think I've started to drop some frames. Let me turn my bitrate down if I can. I feel like maybe it's a uh, sieve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sieve's weird. Whoa. You gonna end your turn? Yeah, sorry. Oh boy. I Pen sounded weird. Pennsylvania is leaning blue, but we'll just have to see. History is the version of pasta. Yeah, that's only four percent of the expected vote. Looks like Trump got another six electoral, but I'm not sure from where. Mississippi? Oh, it looks like Oklahoma. Or Arkansas. Yeah, yeah, Arkansas. Cheese production. Just announced the Raspberry Pi 400. Yeah, did you see that? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little upset that it's just a Raspberry Pi 4. You know, there's nothing super crazy about it. Yeah. Um, but I do like that it's a super easy form factor. It comes with the SD card. It's already built. It already has the OS installed, so it's basically just like a low cost plug and play computer for a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go grab a mouse pad. Okay. Um, so just when this... Oh, you can keep it going. I'm done with my turn, so... Okay.
All right, so let's do a quick election check-in. Looking at Florida. 88% of the vote in. Trump is still up one point. Sorry, 2.4%. Trump's going to take Florida. Texas, 46% of the vote in. Biden is up 2.1%. That would be huge if Biden took Texas. That, that may end the night right there. Pennsylvania, 5% of the vote in. It's leaning Trump. I'm sorry, leaning heavily Biden. Still too early to call. Let's see what 538 has to say. Okay, just taking a look at some results here from 538. And... I'm getting a phone call. So Trump is down in Texas. He's gone. I ain't pausing the game no more. Okay, so let's take a look. Uh, I'm just trying to get an idea of where things are at. Go to CNN and see where we're at. I think Florida going Trump is pretty pretty big compared to the predictions. Looking tighter and tighter, folks. It's gonna be a nail biter. Get ready about them nails, boy. I love nails. <gasps> uh, I don't know if you heard me. Trump is in Texas. Oh. Yes. He's like literally in Texas. No, in the game. In the game. Hmm. You know, that makes a lot more sense. Oh, thank God I found the barbarian encampment. 
It was like really yeah. close, but it was on the other side of this forest, so it was like <laughs> you couldn't see it until you're right on top of it. Oh my god, why, why is automate exploration so bad in this game? Have you noticed that? No. It's like, like he'll be... Like my guy was north and west was discovered, and south and east was undiscovered, and I click automate exploration and he heads back towards what he's already seen. Oh my goodness. I remember one time I played Civ 5 at a LAN party and there was three of us playing. And I had one person, I was just like text, I was like text chatting the whole time. I was like, all right, I'm ready to attack. Are you ready to attack? You ready to attack? And then they started attacking the other person. And I was like, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? <laughs> and the other person's like, yeah, seriously. And I was like, this is ridiculous. And I, we ganged up on him. <laughs> It was great. That's so cool. Oh, no, 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 no. I... Oh, my God. I just spotted an American settler between two of my cities again. I have, like, three cities and a triangle. And Trump just keeps sneaking people back there. It's all about that... That hot... Sneaky peaky. Sneaky Getting real tired of this game. Too bad. That's not true. I'm just tired.
Oh no, I'm about to run out of money. That's not good. I guess I could. Wait, wait. Please say a command. I ain't gonna... I wonder if there's any nine o'clock elections, or maybe there's elections that end at six coast Western time. I'm not sure.
Oh, somehow I discovered Longview, Washington. So that's the west coast. I don't think I'm all the way to the east coast yet. I'm not even to the southern border, to the northern border. It's a honking map. Huge. See if I can find a list of when I feel like I had this for um I feel like I found it for um Super Tuesday where it was basically a list of when certain states were gonna close. CNN has not called most of the states that Politico has. If I can find. Oh, here it is. Nine o'clock is going to be Arizona, Colorado, Louisiana, Minnesota, Nebraska, New Mexico, New York, Texas, Wisconsin, and Wyoming. Huh. So we should get a bunch of stuff coming in at nine. Do I want? Got to renew my friendship. Waiting for 
the ability to make boats so I could go like do fishing and stuff and mm -hmm. I didn't realize that you just make the builders go into the water mm -hmm. because it, I'm pretty sure in Civ 5 you made boat units yeah so um, so I'm a little behind on fishing fishing <laughs> Oh my god, he just... Uh, Trump is an idiot. He just founded a city literally next to my border. Stopped at the beginning of the city. Hey, can you turn off the, the, the voice cancelling? I think it's cutting you out too much now. But at least we know that. <laughs> okay, it's off. Sure, I'll take Gene Dark. Germany's in the Renaissance era. Yikes. Let's see who's leading. So by score, it's Trudeau, myself, Trump, you, Merkel, Macron. Still a pretty tight match, though. Yeah, not bad so far. Did you uh, watch the new episode of uh, Mandalorian yet? I have not. Um, I need to do that. This isn't a spoiler. Ever since Kyle said, he had that tweet where he said, Mandalorian feels like a really well done student film. I kind of see it now. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. <laughs> where it's like 90% production quality and you're like, oh, this is a really good effort, but it's not quite production quality, you know? <laughs> I think it's also, for so long, Star Wars was only fan films. Yeah. So that, like, really put that mentality of anything that isn't Lucasfilm is, like, a fan film. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Because um, that's kind of the way I've always thought about it. But, yeah, I'm excited to check it out. Yeah, it was it was uh it was a good episode. But it's definitely one of those things where it's like the writing Writing's good, but not great. The editing, good, but not great. Fight scenes, good, but not great, you know. So it's still enjoyable to watch, but it's like, oh, you're so close to being really good. Yeah. Yeah, we watched, um, 
the first Harry Potter movie on Sunday, and boy, I forgot how long that movie is. You know, I haven't... I think there's one or two of those I've missed, and I don't think I've seen any of them since they originally came out in theaters. So I, I've been thinking about going back and watching them, but I feel like I should reread the books first, and I'm like... Um, I'm like... Yeah. I'm on book five out of six of my Dune reading, or I'm sorry, I'm on book six out of seven of my Dune read through, and I got to read Curse of Strahd, so I'm like, man, I don't need to put more books on me right now. Yeah, I, um, I, first of all, jealous of Curse of Strahd. Second of all, um, I, I'm almost done with the first Dune book, and I think that's all of Dune I'm ever going to read. It's... Yeah, yeah. By the it's it, his style is very unique, and I don't want to say it's either love it or you hate it, but it definitely takes a bit to grow on you. And I'm not. If you enjoyed it, then the other books are probably worth reading, but it's not like they're incredible. Oh. Yeah, like I'm really enjoying it. Yeah. Sorry, uh, a whole, whole bunch of states just came in. Whoa, New, Mex I New see Mexico that. and Illinois, I believe, and, and New Mexico, New York went biden trump just got like nebraska south dakota north dakota wyoming i think it's, it's still getting close uh, you know what let's i'm gonna pause the game real quick let's take a looky loo because we basically hit the 9 p.m deadline so some of the 90 percent of the vote in for florida and trump is up what is that 3.3 percent yeah that's huge that's huge him taking florida but 56 percent in texas and Biden is up by 1.3%. If Trump takes Florida and Texas, that's pretty huge. This is getting close. Okay. All right. You ready? Party time. Party time. Yeah. So, so Dune is, I don't know. It's somebody said that it doesn't really make sense until the third book. And I don't think that's true. A, a lot of it starts to make sense at the end of the second book. A lot of, like, the main themes and also, like, kind of what's going on with the spice. Because e if I remember correctly from the first book, you're kind of like, oh, well, the spice, I, I kind of understand what it does to you, but at the same time, I kind of don't, you know? <laughs> yeah, like, the as far as I am in the book, my understanding is the spice, like, gets into you. So if you try to leave Arrakis, you, like, die. Like, That's... it, like, infects you. No, that's not true. That's not true at all. That's one. That's in like his vision at the beginning of the book. Oh, well, but, but that's the reason nobody can leave Arrakis is because it doesn't it doesn't kill you, but it it hurts you to leave, not be around the spice anymore. Oh, well, yeah, but that's just like an addiction. Because remember the the guild the guildsmen the guild steersmen are addicted to spice and they they travel through space. They're off yeah. Arrakis, so. But they're fed melange all the time. They live in like a melange solution. Yeah, I don't um, know anything about the guilds people. But like the whole like prescience thing and all that, it doesn't really start to make sense till the end of the second book. But then it's 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 pretty good. It's it's very unique, which is why I'm enjoying it. And it does a good job of like telling these stories. Yeah, I'm really into it. I just like I keep looking at all the other books I want to read and I'm like I'd be rather be reading these than yeah, this that's right fair. now. I will say, though, um, something I've learned over the last couple of years that's kind of important is if you're going to read a series, you got to like, you should, you should try and read all of it in a row. Because especially for yeah. some series like Dune, it's like I read the first book and then it was like four or five years later that I read the second book. And I was like, I had to look up a summary of the first book. Because I was like, I don't remember any of these characters. I don't remember what's going on. But now that I'm just going back to back to back, it flows really nicely. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's like I did that when I read all the Harry Potter books earlier this year. It's like, yeah. just go through them all at once. <clears throat> but those are way easier reads. Yeah. Can I purchase a tile, please? No. Thank you. So a bunch of states coming in. New Mexico went Biden, but I, I, I don't think any of these are big indicators. 
what I've kind of been looking at is Politico has, they have not just the called states for Biden and Trump, but they also have in the middle, they're basically showing, you know, hey, of the remaining 322 electoral votes, these are the ones we predict will be Trump. These are the ones that are predicted to be Biden. Long story short, the, the margin between likely Biden and complete toss up is getting closer and closer to the middle. So basically, Biden's presumed win is getting, I don't want to say less and less likely. I think it's still likely, but it's its definitely coming down. So. Uh, I think Nebraska or South Dakota just went. Yeah. Pennsylvania would be huge for Biden. Texas would be huge as well, but I think Texas is probably going to swing back towards Trump would be my guess. Yeah, 57% and it's now down to a 0.5% lead for Biden. Excuse me. You know, I don't think I've found the Great Lakes yet. I'm going to see if anything comes up at 9.30 Eastern. Nope. Ten o'clock Eastern. Iowa, Montana, Oregon, Idaho, Nevada, Utah. Then we got California, Washington, Hawaii, Alaska. So a lot of the states are already starting to report. Um, Real clear politics. Yeah, CNN's calling rather slowly, but Real, Real Clear Politics actually has more for Trump than. Um, Politico does. What I really want to find is I want to find I want to find a website that is like here is our prediction for the election that is actively skewing it. You know, it's like 70% chance. Now it's 65. Now it's 60% chance. I haven't really found that yet. Bad will. Man, I can't believe next gen is next week. That's crazy. Uh, it's pretty crazy. Yes, that is what I want. Please.
Oh my goodness. Oh, I misread that. It said America has won the great scientist Alfred Nobel. I thought it was telling me that it won the Nobel Prize in Science. <laughs> cool. It's not very accurate. Okay, feeling pretty good. Oh. Same Z's. <clears throat> yeah, Trump's up in Florida. I, th I think Trump's going to win Florida. Yeah, it makes sense. I don't know. Florida's always been a bit of a battleground state. It was surprising in 2016 when he won. I think a lot of people thought he may lose it this time, but it doesn't look like it. I think Texas is pretty crazy. Texas He's is up crazy. Almost 2% now. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. I think Canada may be in the northeast of the map. Not certain. Why did I do that? That was the stupid thing. <laughs> I'm excited for Fiasco this Saturday. Woo! Oh yeah, that'll be a good time. Yeah, finally get to play one of my 
one of the most highly rated playsets, Tales from Suburbia, which is just kind of like suburban housewife drama. Love it. I'm excited. Should be fun. A lot of Jackbox. You know, it's funny, I thought I was going to go for a religion in this game, and I just have not. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of thinking that too, but I'm not, I'm not too close. Well, you know what, I think I'm at, I'm at like your northeast border. Well, at least my units are. Yeah? Hi. Get out of here. I don't oh yeah, you. you really do have Baja. Baja Blast, baby. What do you want from Civ 7? Um, more... Um, more desert. Oh, I see you. I also have Justin Trudeau I met somewhere. Oh, he doesn't want to be my friend. Hmm. I'm going to send a delegation. Yeah, I, I really wouldn't mind a, just a complete overhaul. Because I feel like 5 and 6 are very similar. So I, I wouldn't mind them taking some time and making 7 something, I don't want to say completely different, but just like overhauling a lot of the systems. Because e even between 5 and 6, they, they change the art style slightly, but it still f feels very, very similar. So... Yeah. I don't know, I'm excited to... I don't think they're going to make those changes but it would be nice to see 
Something crazy like that. Next turn, please. Ooh, Canada denounced France. I just saw that. That's crazy. Wow. Canada's progressed from modern era to the atomic era. Ex excuse me, what? to build in my cities. There's... How do I get more houses? Um, I think farms give you a little bit. Ontario. Yeah, I feel like I'm not doing great. I'm not doing terribly, but... happening. 
I think Biden got Colorado. Nice. Chance is all powerful. Racism has brought them together. <laughs> They've decided to break the edge. I forgot we were streaming for a second there. <laughs>
Oh, wait, it's 1670? Why do I feel like my civilization is not at 1670? Really? Then again, I usually classify that by like how many, like my military and stuff. That's true. And I haven't really been building a military, so. Just like Hey, we're live right now, buddy. Um <laughs> that's not that's not that's exactly the instrument that's playing. Mine's Russian. Oh mine's mine's exactly what I, I said. Well it's that's like exactly. it's like there's a main theme and then the Russian comes in and then it comes out, you know. What what instrument is that? I don't know, man. The the name of it's like on the tip of my tongue. The Quahenguari? No, that's percussion. The Jungu? I don't know. I googled it. So. You know what? I'm gonna save. Smart. Smart. You know, we've been doing a good job of just keeping this moving, you know? Yeah. You think this will get decided tonight? Um, no. I think uh, I've been looking at CNN, and CNN's not calling as much. I think they're super hesitant because they don't know about the mail-ins. You know, for states that are under-reporting because of mail-ins. Mm -hmm. 
Texas just turned predicted red, according oh, to Politico. Let me check some other websites. Yeah, like, like for example, Politico right now is 131 Biden, 93 Trump. CNN has it 89.54. They are just not really calling it. And I think because of the nature of mail of mail in ballots, it's. I, I don't. It looks like right Did now, you're... neither side can legitimately declare victory, and nobody's going to concede tonight. Sorry, what were you saying? Canada just advanced from atomic to information. Jeez, we got. I don't even know where they are. <laughs> I found them. I found one of their cities. What? What's? Where is it? What's the name of the city? It's uh gone now i mean just like where are they in the country i guess they're in uh like by the great lakes yeah that's where i thought they may be i mean i guess i could try to military up but i'm i'm not close to them yeah because they're in temis camming shores ontario Can you see that when I offer you that deal screen? Do you see that? No, I was trying to do stuff with you earlier. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. I just got a deal proposed. Okay. You... It's just, I think it's just open oh. borders, right? Oh. Oh, that's... What's all this stuff underneath? Oh, that's stuff I can add. Yeah. Did you accept it? Yeah. Are you going to come build a city oh, yeah, right yeah, between my other cities? No, I'm not Trump. <laughs> That's I not did. even... It's just a thing. <laughs> I know the game. Man, I'd like to take down Canada, but I don't... It'd take me a while to build up a military, and I don't even know where they are. This is kind of usually what I do, though, is that I just, like, wait until the modern age, and then I wage some crazy warfare. I'm Brodus, Montana. I do know Canada's not happy with me. I don't know. What you do to my boys? What did you do to my boys, Canada? Yeah. What did you do to my boys, Canada? Oh, what? do I really have to stay here till midnight? Yeah. It's looking like midnight. Let's do it, man. It only happens once every four years. That's true. I have to get an Uber home. You're at least at your home. That's true. Something about Civ where, like, you know, if I'm playing, like, Hades or if I'm playing Slay the Spire, like, these games where you're supposed to be, like, building combos and, like, putting skills on top of each other to boost specific things, I I can kind of get those. Something about Civ where I just, I don't get it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Other than, yeah. like, well, I want to do culture, so I'll just pick everything that does culture, but I don't, like naturally understand like the best progression it's like there's just too much going on and i i shut down oh 
Oh, I found Perry Sound, Ontario. Man, look at his cities. They're skyscrapers. Oh my goodness. What am I? I don't even know what age I'm in. He wants me to give him four gold for 30 turns per turn for open borders. Uh-uh. Ain't happening, white boy. What a bum. An absolute bum. Screw you, Justin Trudeau. I don't even... I don't know where I can... I don't know what era I'm in. I was about to say, oh, Justin Trudeau, or uh, Vladimir Putin declared friendship with me, and I forgot it was you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the industrial era. I'm in the Midwest, like South Dakota, Wyoming, Kansas. I'm gonna go try to find you. Oh man, you know the crazy thing is, I, I think because we're in multiplayer, this stuff is not popping up. Apparently Justin Trudeau denounced me. Yeah, it like pops up in the side. That's wonky. I mean, denounced you because you suck. I mean, I know that, but it's still just surprising, you know. Maggie has the cupcakes. Grace, okay, are you with your fat ass? Are you near Brodus, Montana at all? Yeah, I'm just south of it by like six hexes. Oh, so this guy's about to find. Oh, there you are. Literally just found you. I mean, all of my pikemen just found you. What color are you? Uh, red. Red, blue. Oh, that's weird. I don't see your unit. I certainly see you. Thank you. 
Yeah, you see, you see the two America cities right there, Sundance and Casey. Trump built no, this. I, I just, I just see your, your border right now. Oh, okay. Oh, Mud, Ruckers. Scoping out Canada right now. Donald Trump has proposed a deal. Take it. He wants my footprint, footprint of the apostle, which is a painting I have. He wants to give me two gold plus one salt and four gold for 30 turns. Mm. Uh, refuse. That's a shame, he says. <laughs> I'm not giving him my great work. Oh, I found Macron as well. I should figure out how to pronounce that. Macron? Yeah. I don't know how. I think it's like the the pastry. Germany's in Alaska. They just added a new settlement. There's an Alaska? Guess so. I only made it up to Washington. I didn't see anything. Oh, is is Alaska in the bottom corner? Like to be funny? Is Hawaii there? No, I'm guessing it's above Longview. But there's nothing above Longview. There's nothing Stops. above there. Huh. Maybe they funded near Longview. Founded near Longview. Yeah, that might be true. You might be right there, Ian. Yeah, might be right. I don't know. Yeah, might be right. When I choose these civics, I, I really don't pay attention. Just kind of hit it. I just found an airport. What? Who has an airport? <laughs> Justin Trudeau. <laughs> God, you know what the airport does? The airport lets you like, in like one turn, take units from one city with an airport to another city with an airport. It's right next to Burlington, Vermont. The city this, state of Burlington, Vermont. This man needs to die. Still gonna meet a Greek and Merkel. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's a funny joke. <laughs> I knew I'd get you with that one. Not quite as good as Goofer Sutherland, but it's close. Goofer Sutherland. My greatest accomplishment. Who founded America? What are you doing? I just founded Jefferson City, Missouri, one hex away from a current city that I have. Oh my god. Oh, I found Bo Boxelder, Wyoming. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's the one that was south of Broadus. Oh, I see you now. Hi. Okay. Ooh, it's cold in this room. I put my hat back on. Let's take a look and see what is happening for 10 p.m. Eastern, oh, yeah. Iowa, Montana, uh, Oregon, Idaho, Nevada, Utah. CNN looks like they may be down. Donald Trump sent a delegation to my capital. Oh, that's nice of him. Fucking Justin Trudeau is trying to spread Buddhism. What a weird <laughs>
I got a cupcake. What the heck? Can can Mag can, can Maggie bring me a cupcake? Why not? That's rude. Cupcake. That looks really good. Mmm, that's good frosting. That food. I'm gonna make a spy. See if I can spy on Trudeau. Ooh, that's a good idea. Wait, I'm bankrupt? How'd that happen? You goofed it, Goober. I really like in Civ 6 how roads are automatically built by trade routes. Do you notice that? Yeah. Canada just made Montreal. Jerks. Next thing in, 10 o'clock? Yeah. Some states drop there. I think out of those, maybe only Nevada. That'd be interesting. Ooh. I'll send this spy to... I don't know any Canadian cities yet, so I'm just gonna keep them in my capital for now. 
Uh, and I'm friends with Trump, so. New Jersey votes to legalize the possession, use, and sale of marijuana. Hey, <laughs> may take a couple years to get the commercial side in place, but that's pretty cool. Yeah. What it is, soul brother. I keep, <laughs> I keep seeing the skeleton of Kevin, and it freaks me out for about half a second. <laughs> There's just a fake skeleton in here, covered in disgusting blood. Yeah. I guess I have to go to a different place. Spy was acting weird. Canada has denounced the evil deeds of France. Man, I need to get it on Canada's good time. Good time. Be right back. So I forgot the other um, battleground state to look at is Michigan. Currently up 30% in 13 points to Trump. So just trying to remember. They called Florida early for Trump in 2016. I think maybe like 8 p like 9 p.m. And I think that was right around the time when people started to realize he had a path to victory. And so I'm I don't know. I don't know, man. I mean, I think we we both want him to win. I'm just not sure it's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> I was like half paying attention to you. <laughs>
Are you still eating the same cupcake? Yeah, I'm not fat, Will. Just shove it in your mouth. I eat my food, I don't inhale it. Maggie's eating it now. <laughs> I'm going too slow. Wait, send them to me then. See that Canada has an anti-tank crew. Yeah. France just went from the Renaissance to the industrial. Congrats, France. Yeah, like Canada's ahead by almost 100 points, but then I'm 50 points ahead of Trump, so we gotta take Canada out. Where am I? You're uh, second to last. Dang it! I'm, 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 a, I'm a having fun. Time for me to go find Canada. I'm coming for you, Canada. Hey, Canada. Daddy's coming for you. Oh, it's past 10 o'clock, nothing's been called. Yeah, this is pretty tight. Tight boys. Tight boys. Tight boys. I gotta renew my friendship.
Justin Trudeau sent me a warning? About what? It's 2018, your old ideas are no longer relevant in today's world. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Excuse me, Justin Trudeau. I'm denouncing Canada. <laughs> Screw you, pal. Do you think Trump will, if I declare, no thanks on declare friendship? The jerk. Well, wow, Macron. What can I say? You ain't friends. Canada has announced the evil deeds of Russia. What? Justin Trudeau sent me another warning. Frick off, dude. Dude, frick off. Place. Frick off. <laughs> Hello, Norton. place you got going right it's so cool I'm gonna save You know, we should have just done this for extra life. 20... Yeah, I could have done 24 hours of this. 24 hours of Civ, man. That'd be bonkers. I've done like 12 hours before by accident, so... The uh, great lighthouse on the very tip of Baja it looks pretty dope. Nice. Nice job. Thanks. You, Ranger, head east. Find the Canadian Devils. Uh, consider yourself converted. Consider yourself Canadian. Oh my God! Enjoy my new, re my new religion, Russia. I forgot I have religion. <laughs> oh, your turtle. Butts. <laughs> I got the name something Butts. And it was my turtle. I have four gold.
head east. Find Canada. Flowers surround me, alone. I have gained a Casas Belli to declare a holy war on Justin Trudeau. I fan myself in this most languid heat. friendship thing. Okay. I don't know if we're friends, but I established a... Oh, you built a commercial hub. Good for you, buddy. Did I? Cellar near your Brandsville, Montana. Montana? Emma? Ugh. Missouri.
Hey, guess what percentage of votes have been counted in Texas? Sixty-nine percent. Yeah. Units with my faith now. This is great. Heck yeah. I'm gonna start a holy war. Y'all gonna die. Yeah, I feel like I'm really humming along now. Whew. Let's see. Next deadline is 11 for California and Washington, but yeah, there's just not a whole lot of movement going on. Arizona started reporting 71% in and it's leaning Behind Biden. Lead, but it doesn't mean a big city like Atlanta. Wow, Arizona going Biden would be huge. 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 Justin Trudeau. I'll do that with you. What did he say? He wanted... Everyone wants my pearls. Pearls. I got so much money. They want to give their wives pearl necklaces.
Thank you, stranger. Oh, uh, thanks for the follow, Zaber. Thanks, Zaber. Thanks, Zaber. Trump canceled his election night interview? Oh. Thanks, Saber. He loves the studio setup. Oh, thanks. I love it too. Oh, I wish I could show you more of it, but the camera's over there and I can't reach it. You know, it is running pretty well. I wanted to start seeing if I could send you. OBS virtual. Can I send you OBS virtual camera? What? You know how OBS has a new virtual camera thing instead of streaming? No. What does that do? I didn't know. About you that. can send a virtual. You can send your output of OBS as a camera to somewhere else. But how does that? Like, how do I ingest that? Like you send you it. You would. You ingest oh. it as a um, video. Uh, Oh. Capture device. So it's like OBS to OBS? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we but could. I don't actually know how it worked. The only reason I thought about doing that is if I was here, I could change camera angles here without changing videos. Mm -hmm. Which could be a benefit. Why can't I, why can't I do a trade route with you? Too far. Uh... Maybe I should build a city out there. Excuse me? I said maybe I should build a city closer to you. Like right next door. Uh, too small. Yeah, you know, the, the election may be stalled for tonight. What you're saying is I can go home. No, we're making it to midnight, buddy.
Uh, thanks, Max on the Moon, for the follow. Thank you. Thank you kindly. All right, take a look at Lou real quick. Canada has completed the Space Race Project Launch Earth Satellite. America is in the modern era. They may win. Canada. I think they're going to. I know, they're blitzing that space. That science. He's a technophile. Oh, I found, I found, uh, oh, no, wait, that's a city state. Dang it. because he's been sending missionaries from that direction. Stranger. Oh, thanks for the follow, real Mr. Awesome. You are the real Mr. Awesome. Ain't no fake. Ain't no fake. Ooh. Oh. with France and America. Hooray! I'm gonna, um... Uh-oh, Donald Trump has proposed a deal. wants an alliance and open borders and he's gonna pay me 30 gold yeah that's and pretty all... good should i ally myself with donald trump yeah i like that deal so much that i'm gonna i'm gonna Take make it out a from deal joint war on trudeau I need to cast this spell. I could declare a holy war. Wait, what is...
Oh, I found France. France is on the east coast. Oh, I think somebody got called for Trump. I don't know who. Maybe Louisiana? Anyways, it's 131 to 109. Well, he was at 99 before. So it must have been a tenor. Ian, guess how much gold I get per turn? 132. 69. <laughs> nice.
Macron being a jerk. <gasps> oh boy, I just wish I was close to Canada because then I could really open some stuff up, but it's just so hard. I just can't move things quickly in this, you know? Donald Trump wants an embassy in my cabin. Trump's up to 115 now. Biden's at 135. Oh boy. Trump's up decently in Pennsylvania.
Okay, let's see if I can... Just offer me a deal. This is disgusting. But if you give me one of your cities... Come here, Trudeau. I have denounced it. Saw what happened to me. To what? I don't know if you saw what just happened. What happened? Donald Trump and I have declared war on Justin Trudeau. <gasps> you did? Yeah. <laughs> I asked if he wanted to, and he said sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's the one who's closer to him. I have to wait five turns because I just denounced him. I, I think he denounced me, and I was like, you oh, know what, screw this. He's so far away from me, though. I have a spy. I just need to get, like, near one of his cities. I still haven't discovered one of his cities. Yes, give me the aerodrome. The game is waiting on you! Ooh. Ooh, Macron's proposing a deal now. I gotta see what this is all about. 
You want whales? Sure. You want whale? Well, I do like whales. Well, I just found New York. Oh, that lighthouse is cute. Thanks. Wait, why didn't you expand down Baja? To get Baja? Yeah, but I mean, it's just it's not a lot of land, so you couldn't really expect your cities down there would just kind of get choked. Yeah, but there's a bunch of like sea resources down there. Yeah, that's true. Sea sources, as I like to call them. Send me a warning. Oh, what? Your proselyte. Oh, I'm uh, mm -hmm. evangelizing. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Donald. Donaldo. I have declared war. Yay. A lot of declarations of declarations of war. Oh, because of all my all these city states. Wow. Maybe they'll fight for me. Oh, sweet. Massachusetts enacted the requirement for uh, car manufacturers to make data on cars accessible over wirelessly to everyone. 
You know, I was reading that, and I I think that's a bad law. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because basically... Okay, let's pause the game. Admittedly, I looked into this only a little bit, but basically it is, if you buy a new car, your, your car probably doesn't have it, but my sister, for example, she bought a Dodge Challenger a couple years ago and it had it. It's the program where the manufacturer, the car is sending data to the manufacturer. Like, hey, this is usage. This is my odometer. This is my, my tire pressure, etc. These are any engine codes that are happening. And then the manufacturer is keeping that and then the consumer pays a certain amount of fee per month and the, and they're sharing it with them. And so the manufacturer, it, most of the time it's just like, hey, guess what? Your odometer hit 5,000 miles, so you need an oil change, etc." Or, hey, we noticed you, you have a check engine light. But the truth is, a mechanic, in my humble opinion, most of that information is not useful to them. The really useful information to them is the data that's coming off the diagnostic port, like what is the current O2 sensor reading, you know, what is the current fuel rate, and any check engine, any diagnostic codes that are on the vehicle right now. And they already get that. So all they're doing is they're forcing the manufacturer to create an API web service for free so that they can log in and say, show me the telematics history of your vehicle, such as, you know, all this data in, up to including possibly GPS tracking on your vehicle for the life of the vehicle. And I'm like, I don't think mechanics need that. I feel like them plugging in a diagnostic tool gets them pretty much all the information they need. Yeah, I just think it's good that you can get that stuff for free now. That's true, yeah. It's nice that you can get it for free. Which you should be able to. Yeah, because they're just keeping track of it. Anyways, I'm not on pause now. I have not super read into the law i just read a couple articles on it and it's just seems... yeah no i yeah i don't think it's anything crazy but it, it's at least like i have access to the to the info all the information on the thing that i own yes yeah 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 but it was weird because like the mechanics were acting like it was going to drive them out of business or like they wouldn't be able to do their job without this and it's like that's not true you know yeah Oh, I'm in his border now because because we're at war. So now I know his city. So now I can kill you. <laughs> that was terrifying. Where's my spy? Perfect. Yeah, so I, I, I don't know a whole lot about the law, but it was just one of those things where, like, the media was portraying it as, like, dealers are trying to make mechanics obsolete, and it's, like, third-party mechanics obsolete, and, and you read into it, and you're like, no, it's really just, like, mostly non-essential data. <laughs> They can yeah. still do their job, you know. Uh, I didn't even know about it until I had my ballot. And then I read it. Ooh. No. too far to hit his cities. Thank you. 
I like with the wonders, they like show them slowly being built. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You know, it's kind of weird. Typically, the city-states that are military, they'll start gifting you units, but I haven't gotten any units. Ranger can pillage. Heck yeah. My spies in San Felician, Quebec. There's Cape Cod. Oh. Biden just got 209. I don't... I don't know where he got called, though. Maybe like Massachusetts, Connecticut. Oh, California. Oh, just California, Oregon, and Washington. Okay, that just popped in for me. Pillage in Canada. Pillage them. The Americas are in the atomic era. Florida, 97% in. Trump's up 3.5%. Wow. Texas, 73% in. Trump's up 4.2. Michigan, 42% in. Trump's up 13. That's pretty. Oof, that's pretty big.
You know, I actually, I think I am kind of slowing him down because I'm pillaging his um, space facilities. Oh, that's smart. What cities are you attacking? Um, I have two rangers around Temiskaming Shores and Perry Sound. Gotcha. Yeah, those are the ones I found. Three rangers long. Oh. <laughs> Oof. I want to get some... Do you have any oil? Uh, I don't have any oil. I want some oil because then I can build some tanks. Trump's got to have oil. He's in Texas. Wow, Lindsey Graham won it? Oh, he, oh, he did? Yeah, 55 to 42. Wow, that poll had it much closer than that. Who's got oil? Yeah, if I can get some tanks, I can blitz. Maybe. Maybe. I need oil. <gasps> I'm at the German Empire!
Daddy's tired. Me too. I think we're getting down to it though. Uh, I don't want to say it's tied. It's slightly ahead by me, but uh, things may not be called tonight. Is there so much red? Well, you know, oh, I found Montreal. Hi, Maggie. But look at Florida's leaning. Trump. Texas is leaning Trump. That's what? 70 right there. Pennsylvania's leaning Trump. That's another 90. Pennsylvania is leaning Trump. Have you been to Pennsylvania? Yeah, the race is a shit. Oh my gosh, this is like the Civil War all over again. <laughs> so we have toilet paper this time. Oh no. They're launching the Mars something. Where do you see those? List you of reports. Yeah, they still have two more left to do though. You made peace with Trudeau? I don't think so. 
Excuse me? <laughs> uh, uh, what? I don't, I don't think... Where, where did you read that? In one of them fake news papers? Excuse me? He wants my footprint. Refuse. Everyone wants my footprint. He's got APCs after my ranger. How do you guys? I'm I'm still at like nights over here. Uh, I mean, I wish I could tell you what I did right, but truth be told, I just don't know. Yeah, I think I just didn't do enough science. Yeah, I've I've been trying to get back to science. His cities are pretty close together. Found five of them. Yes. I'm slowly stealing his technology.
Oh no. What'd I you st do? stumbled into an APC. And I'm still just like terrorizing this land. It's great. be too late to stop him, but I'm, I'm definitely not making it easy for him. Oh, there's the mini map. How long has it been down there? Oh my god. Was it collapsed? Uh, it was collapsed. <laughs> okay, oh. I'm not crazy. Yeah. It has not been updated. I was looking for it forever. Man, that's a pretty good map of the United States. I just wish I could get my ships over there. It's kind of stupid. Oh, it cuts you. Oh, well, you know, you can't get down there, yeah. Very close to nukes. I was close to anything. Ha ha ha, pillaged your university. Whoa, no, kitty, there's too much going on down here. You gotta get down. waiting for you to like lose connection because of this cat no he's just trying to make space for himself i have discovered nuclear fusion no. yeah yeah so why i'm not even to steam power yet <laughs> i'm just trying to get to Deeper. I gotta play more Civ. You've done that to me. My spy. Pillaging their spaceports.
I am building a nuclear device. <gasps> Use it on me. Use it on me. Found another city. I discovered astronomy. Neato. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, bud. It was really a lot. Justin Trudeau denounced me again. Angela Merkel proposed deal. Accept deal. Wonderful. Stop trying to get my footprint. No, refuse deal. Declare war on France or Canada again. That was a real scumbag. Yeah, I'm just over here. Pillaging whatever I can reach.
Ooh, I think I can start building a missile silo next turn. Wouldn't that be great? It'll be pretty sweet. Choose production. How do I make a missile sign? Music changed. I just read a line. Oh no, my last ranger died. Just spent like twenty turns pillaging. <laughs> Only 30 more minutes. I thought, I thought I had missile, but I guess I don't, I'm not sure. Just want to launch a missile.
It shows that I have one nuclear device. I need like a missile silo or something. I thought I'd research that so I could build it, but... Military engineer ability. So I need a military engineer. How do I build a military engineer? Requires an armory to produce. Okay, I'm getting close. <laughs> I killed a Canadian spy. Well, you got another 23 minutes. Oh, I just want to launch a nuke. You can launch a nuke without me, but I am taking this microphone <laughs> off at midnight and leaving. Honestly, election night kind of sucks when you're not watching, like, the news. Because it's, yeah. like, I, I'm looking at the numbers, but I don't really know what's going on. I want to know what the mood is. You know, in 2016, it was yeah. kind It's kind of funny when you saw people slowly realize what was happening. And just that sense of bewilderment. It's like, I look at things, I look at things right now, and it's like clear to me, like, in my brain, it's like, oh, Trump's winning. Yeah. So that's not what this means, because some of these are like, 51% have been counted, or like, yeah, whatever. Plus so. the complication of, you know, COVID, mail and balance, etc. That's sort yeah. of stuff. Complications and it just came out that the the USPS didn't follow that judge order to check oh, really? sites. Yeah. Jeez. So he's got at least three spaceports that I can see. So I think I'm gonna try and hit all of them. Why don't I have a military?
Okay, I have two nukes. Military engineer next turn. He should be able to build the missile silo. Which I hope has a very long range. Got him. Oh wait, be an uh, ally with me so I can see everything. Okay. How do we do that? Uh, open borders? Border. Good. Oh, well, we need to declare friendship first. Okay, I just sent that. Got it. It's only giving me joint war. So I see... Oh, no, I see a lion. Provost. He has two spaceports? I'm definitely going to hit two spaceports. I, I propose the alliance. Our civilization <sighs> first rose. I'm gonna keep playing. So I'm gonna nuke <laughs> him. I'm out of here. Of our people fades to okay, bye. Oh, bye, everyone. Yeah, I had a huge uptick at the end there. Wow, you were in fourth. Good job. Yeah. One more turn. Let's nuke him. Bye. Bye. Okay, folks, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna, t I'm gonna take. I'm not gonna take him out, but I at least want to drop some nukes on him. What do you mean? That's all I can launch? It's not even that far? Okay, well, bye, man. Oh, look at that walking animation. Good stuff, honestly. Awesome. 
I should take out. Sundance. I like how the music stopped when I hit it. Woo. Bye, Trent boy. Oh, what a doozy. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, that's not right. Let's just go to that. Well, folks, that's going to do it for tonight. Um, thank you guys so much for joining us. It's been a crazy five hour and 46 minute stream. Um, you know, when we said the election gets called, it's midnight where the Civ game ends. I was not expecting the Civ game to be the one that ends first. But thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, just a nice way to hang out on the election night. Just see how things are going and play some Civ. Um, I hope you guys had as much fun watching as we did playing. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow night, Wednesday. 9 p.m. Eastern is uh, Kyle Emblem. I believe he's on part 9 or part 10. You should really check it out. 9 p.m. Eastern on Twitch. Uh, Thursday, 9 p.m. Eastern on Twitch. I believe we're going to be playing World of Warcraft. And the big one, the big kahuna, Saturday, noon Eastern to Sunday. Noon Eastern this. That's right. A 24-hour stream. We're going to be streaming for Extra Life, for charity. It's going to be a great time. We've got a lot of stuff planned. It, we've been prepping for this for months. It's going to be great. It's It's honestly just a very high quality we put so much so much effort into production value and getting quality segments so you can really enjoy and all 24 hours with us if you want to if you guys want to see more content from us you can go to subpixelfilms.com that takes you right to our youtube channel um we've got plenty of edited videos like docu short documentaries uh spotlight videos we just put up one on monday that i did on the different respawn mechanics you can find in online shooters and how that kind of impacts your emotions you know death fear hesitation responsibility to your team all those things that come out of just the ways that uh, respawn mechanics are tweaked um and uh, you can also follow us on twitch facegram facebook instagram and twitter at subpixel team you can find me on twitter at thank gibson guys i gotta go to sleep Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow night or Thursday night or uh, Saturday to Sunday or whenever you want at subpixelfilms.com. Bye-bye.